Hey there, Sugar Bunnies! Welcome to another live stream um, international giveaway blind bag unboxing where I ask you guys trivia questions and the first two people to answer correctly get entered into the bunny at the end of the live stream. I will draw a winner out. Um, I also do keep all of the entries and at the end of the month I will draw um, a... It's I guess it's like a monthly giveaway. I draw three winners from that. So, um, how are you guys today? <laughs> Hello there, Kika's World. Hello, Ava Ellis. If I say names wrong, sorry about that. I'm not trying to. So hello, Just Your Everyday Weird. Hello, Kawaii Kiwi. Hello, Gracie Lee. I know I'm missing some here and there, but sorry. Trying to get everybody. Hello, ALDC Clips. Hello, Rose Lover. Hello, Kylie Sparkles. Hello, it's Paris D Gaming. Hi there, Chloe. So I know that I'm missing a few. Sorry about that if I did, but um, keep saying hi and I will try my best. Um, someone's name is Gotcha Cotton Candy Nyan. So I like cotton candy. If you've got me cotton candy, I like that. So um, hello, hello. Um, just Your Everyday Weird said that she just got chicks recently and was playing with them. Oh, like real live little chicks? That's so cool. I had chickens um, where I used to live in California. I got them from chicks and I raised them up into chickens. So. That's pretty cool. Hello, Anna Banana. I did miss you. How is soccer been? I read that your soccer coach is sick right now, so that's why you're here, but then you gotta leave at five. So it's awesome that you could join today, though. I did watch your video. I commented on it, too, if you saw that. So that is super, super cool. It's Paris D. Gaming says, I am her idol. That's so cool. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, uh, Paris D. Gaming. She said, I am amazing. All right, so guys, I have 10 new prizes that I've added. I've posted pictures on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, and I've posted a few on the community tab of my YouTube channel, but not all of them. So um, you guys will see them today. But I do have the 10 blind bags um, that you have voted on. So the highest voted ones did get put into today's unboxing. So which one would you guys like to start with? Ooh, Ava Ellis got a hamster last week. It's so cute. I have a hamster, too. So, let's see. Which one? Oh, happy Easter. Happy early Easter, you guys. Easter's tomorrow. I'm so excited. I'm always so busy. I've got, like, work stuff and then YouTube stuff and all kinds of things. So, I'm trying to balance it out. And I'm hoping that I can go see my grandma. So, yep, that's what I'm doing. So, I don't know. I used to have more time, but it's just, as you get older, you have less time for things so you got to try to balance it so all right let's see i see the zoom zoom first please all right the zoom zoom all right so we will start with this it is disney zoom zoom mystery pack tff so zoom friends forever and i got this at target i had got it um they were a dollar 99 and then the next week they went on sale so i don't know if the sale is still going but they were only 99 cents so you do get two in there it's supposed to be like a best friend so you get um, two medium figures or one large figure and one small figure now you can see on here all the different ones but the one that i really wanted was bambi and miss bunny so there's no vent holes on here but if you feel and you have the time and patience to do it which I did, and I believe I do have Bambi and Miss Bunny in here. So I did hear a lot of people complain about these that regularly collect the Tsum Tsums because a lot of these are duplicates. I think there was only like one of the actual like sets, one of them in it, that um, was one that was like new or something or more rare to get. So um, people were kind of disappointed in these sets, but I don't regularly collect these. I just like the bunny and then Bambi's also really cute. So hoping that I did feel the ears on here and that I did guess correctly. So I don't know how I open this because you guys know I like to keep the package, at least the checklist side. So I will try it from this side. So Gotcha Cotton Candy said it was their birthday. Their birthday in April, was it Was it just this last week? Or look at, look what we got. 
I was right. I guessed right. So, birthdays are always fun. If you get cake and ice cream and get to share it with friends. I loved being able to share my birthdays with friends. So, all right, first one is Miss Bunny. Let's see if we can get her a little bit more focused. It's working better this week. So I think I have like a large one of these. I know I have one, but I don't know if it's even this color. For some reason, I remember it being lighter. But you guys know I'm, I just love bunnies, so I don't care if I've got a duplicate of it. If I do, though, I'll probably like glitter her or something. Maybe I'll even paint her. Not sure, but we'll have to find out if I even do have a duplicate. And the next one out is, let me get this to the other side, is a Bambi. So and Bambi's a deer, and deers aren't my favorite animal, but Bambi is really cute. All the different colors. They're supposed to be like the little spots. They made them rectangles, but there you go. So, I mean, for 99 cents, Sum Sum, come on, that's like a really, really good deal. So check your Target. I know that the little stuffed animals are on sale too. I think for like $2 or $2.50, I can't remember, but I didn't buy any because I didn't have any bunnies. So, and I do have some bunnies, and I do have a bullseye one too, the horse from uh, Toy Story. So, there we go, we'll set them, we'll set them there, it'll be unhidden in a second. So, um, let's see, Gotcha Candy said she's going to her sister's house tomorrow, that she missed her. I don't have a sister, I just have a brother, but he still lives in California, so, um, let's see. Um, I have these to give, I added them to the prizes, they are slime, so there are four different colors, so, there's a blue, a yellow, a pink, and a green, but I thought they were really cute. They come in like a little diamond shaped container and they're translucent, so see through and pretty colors, plus there's glitter in them. So I'm not gonna open them up. Um, like I said, these are gonna be added and the prizes that were they be, blah, blah, blah. let me try that again. That way they will be nice and fresh for you guys. Plus they're like sealed with some plastic there too. So that'll be better during shipping rather than me opening it and showing you. So I'm hoping that they're a decent one. Like they're not, they don't look like they're too wet. You can see like right here, it's not falling down super fast and it's not like moving around. So I think it's gonna be kind of more like a putty-ish kind, but yeah, you, whoever picks them gets to, uh, gets to let us know if they come back. So there you go, there's one of the prizes. So we are going on to our first three questions. So here we go, you ready? I'll say hi to a few more people. So you guys get ready. So Paris D Gaming said it was their boyfriend's birthday yesterday. And <laughs> she was the only girl, so only girl at the party. Oh wow. Okay, let's see. Um Kylie Sparkle says a Sum Sum plush of her. And uh U F U F Y F Uffy? I'm not sure what that is. Um let's see. I don't know what that is, but I do have a plush of her too. I got it from um, Disneyland. Actually, let's see, the UK, yeah, the UK changed time. Um, I changed this Pacific time, but um, there we go. Someone has six brothers, that's crazy. Six brothers, any sisters? So, all right, let's see, let's see, let's see. How do you do international giveaways? Um, well, I do have the, um, the way I do things in this down in the description box, so if you still have any questions after you read down there, then go ahead and ask. So let's see, let's see. Um, if you win, you pick 15 different items. So um, I give away some of the blind bags here, and then um, uh, it just depends on if I collect them or not, or if I need them for something. Um, then I will, but I send you pictures, I'll let you guys know, and then also whatever I put in the prizes, that's also able to be picked. Um, but I send whoever um, wins the pictures, so uh, let's see, here is our first question. You guys are ready? Alright, here we go. What does the cartoon character Popeye eat to give him instant strength and big muscles? So the question is, what does the cartoon character Popeye eat to give him instant strength and big muscles. This is an older cartoon, but I know I've seen things now and then, so even if you've got to ask your parents for help on this one, they should definitely know. But I think I think you guys will probably know. So let's see how good you guys are. So the question is, what does the cartoon character Popeye eat to give him instant strength and big muscles? <laughs> All right, here we go. I see one, two, three. All right, so first one in is Caden's World with spinach. Spinach is the correct answer. He pulls out a can of spinach 
and he pops it open usually in, in a very unique way and then he just takes it all in one gulp so sometimes he squeezes it out and it pops into his mouth but yep Caden's World was the first one then Just Your Everyday Weird then Squid Punk and Paris, Dame, Paris Gaming didn't know, yeah, some, some, um, this is an older cartoon, so I did expect some people to maybe not know, but Chloe Davis says, honey, nope, it's spinach, totally descendant said spinach, Chloe then said spinach, then Ava Ellis said spinach, then Kawaii Kiwi said spinach, and then Kylie Sparkles and a few more said, um, spinach after that, so, all right, here we go, let me get in Caden's world. Oh, there you go. And then the second one was... Uh, let me scroll back. Just your everyday wear, that's right. It's a little bit longer to, to write out. Everyday weird. Okay, there we go. So here is our next question, guys. What is the name of the place with rides that Jojo goes to in her music video for the song, It's Time to Celebrate? So in Jojo's music video, um, It's Time to Celebrate, she went to a place where they have rides. What is the name of that place? Let's see if you guys paid paid really close attention to that video. Oh, I know a lot of people. Okay, a lot of people are saying Six Flags. I'm gonna let you guys know that's not it. So it's she went to Six Flags for her birthday, for her sweet 16. But in her music video, um, it's time to celebrate. It was a place in there. So think back to that music video, you guys. This one's a little tricky. I knew that people were going to get it mixed up with her sweet 16 birthday and where she went with rides. Think back to that video. Let's see. See, someone got it pretty close, but what's the name of that place? This one's a tricky one. You guys have told me to give you harder JoJo ones, so this is a harder JoJo one. So the question is, what is the name of the place with rides that JoJo goes to in her music video for the song, It's Time to Celebrate? It's not I Fly. You guys might have to click on that video real quick, huh? Hello, Toy Box Fun. Your name does sound very, very familiar. Did you, did you keep the same name or is it um, something different? It's a kind of theme park. It's not Disney World. It's not Six Flags. Let's see. I think I see someone with it. Let's see if anybody else gets it. This is a hard one, so you guys asked for hard ones, and here it is. All right, so I see a few in there. The first one to grab it was Kika's World. It is Pacific Park. Then Just Your Everyday Weird. Then um, Ava Ellis. Then ALDC Clips. And then, uh, yeah, K Kika's World got Pacific Park. So there you go. Um, yep, it's Pacific Park. So yeah, she went to Six Flags, like I said, for her Sweet 16 um, Disneyland she's gone to before. I've seen her there. I've seen her at Universal Studios, but this was specifically to her music video. So first one in there, Kika's World. Good job. That was a hard one, wasn't it? And there you go. And the, oh, came back out, go in. And then the second one, I believe it was Just Your Everyday Weird. I'm just gonna double check. So, let's see, let's see. Yep, Just Your Everyday Weird. So Toy Box Fun, it was just the same name, huh? Does sound familiar, but a lot of people have toys in their names, so. But welcome back. You said that you'd missed me, so that must have mean that you were gone. So, welcome back. And we are on to question number three. You guys ready? <laughs> Thank you very much, Paris D Gaming. It's a little bit sloppy because I'm not taking my time, so. Um, but yeah, and I usually pride myself on taking my time and, and writing neatly, but um, 
Uh, yeah, so I'm just trying to get through pretty quick so you guys can keep on getting more questions and we'll move on. But, um, yep, there we go. So, in the LOL Surprise Fashion Crush, how many outfits come with a pair of glasses? So, in the LOL Surprise Fashion Crush, that's the outfits, how many of the outfits come with a pair of glasses? So, if you looked at the checklist, it does show this. So, let's see. We got two here. So, the question again was, in the LOL Surprise Fashion Crush, how many outfits come with a pair of glasses? All right, so I see one... Okay, I got them. So Toy Box Fun was the first one to come in with the correct answer. The answer is four, you guys. So there's four different outfits, and I can show you as well because I do have one of those checklists. Then Kawaii Kiwi said eight. Kylie Sparkle said three. Then she said four. So she's also the second one. Um, ALDC Clip said two. Kika's World said three. Kylie Sparkle said six. Then Kawaii Kiwi said four. Chloe Davis said four. Um, uh, Ava Ellis said four. ALDC Clip said four. Totally Descendant said one. Nope, it's four. Then ALDC clips at four. So there we go. That's what we've got, guys. That's how it showed up for me. So uh, Toy Box Fun, congrats. And there's that one. And then um, the second one was Kylie Sparkles. Congratulations. Is it with a Z? Yeah, it is with a Z. I almost put an S, but if it had been an S, we'd have still got it, so. All right, here we go. Um, so we're gonna be going on to a new blind bag, so we'll be thinking about that, and I will show you on the checklist real quick. So here's the Elbow Surprise Fashion Crush, and here we go. None here, none here. Here's one, two, three, and four. So there's four outfits with glasses. And I've actually only opened up one of these. I still have more. I actually have a box of them that I cannot find. So it's still packed, but I have a couple that are loose and just rolling around here. I should open, but soon, soon. But uh, yeah, all right. So which blind bag did we decide on, guys? We've got the Wonder Ball, which I actually just found a few days ago. Pick Me Pop's Wonder Ball. So um, let's see. All right, so the first person that I saw to do it was Just Your Everyday Weird requesting the Ugly Dolls. These are new. I saw these last week, and I didn't grab one, and then I was like, wait, why didn't I grab one? So I went back, and I actually grabbed two. So um, it is by Hasbro Ugly Dolls. So this is like a new thing. Um, on the back, there is no checklist, guys. Sorry, but on the box, they had one. Um, so if you're looking for a particular one, there are no holes or anything. Oh look, it says something. It says, ugly is the new awesome. And then it's got it in a couple languages. But um, there are a couple that look like bunnies. So I, I didn't have the patience, I don't know at the time, to just feel. So there are some that are heavier than others for sure. And this one kind of did feel like it had ears, so I just grabbed it um, because they kind of spread out. So I felt the body here and the ears over here. So I'm hoping that's what it is. But there are some that are like really, really round and you can feel it and those are the heavier ones. But um, yeah, so I mean, if you've got a little bit of time, you could probably sit there and feel that. But other than that, this is all I've got for you. So uh, it says surprise inside. I think it just comes with the one figure. Yeah, and this is series one. So my first time opening these and um, yeah, let's see how this is. So you can just pull that, which is cool. That's a different way to open it. Oh, all the way. Okay, there we go. And then oh, it comes with, ooh, what is this? checklist inside that is awesome okay so i did not get a bunny but this one is actually pretty cool too it's like an octopus there we go is he better there yeah so um hard not squishy at all so but his legs do bend you know just because they're thinner so i don't think they're really supposed to they're just the same kind of material as his body but yeah there he is in all his glory he's so ugly but I actually think he's kind of cute. You could actually paint him to make him a look, look a little bit cuter too, but he is kind of cute. I don't know why they say he's ugly. This one's not that ugly. But here we go. It is a little tiny. I don't know if it just happened to be on that one, but there it is. It's the one that we got, and that's the one I wanted, a little bunny. Um, oh, wait, it opens up one more. There we go. So I don't know if it's like maybe like a little comic strip or something. 
So that's kind of what it looks like it is. Maybe he's going to bake something, so we went to the store to get the ingredients. There's all kinds of weird stuff, and then I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I can't figure it out. Maybe if I give it a little bit more time, but there you go. If you wanted to try to figure it out, you could take some pictures and, and then have a look at it later. So, poor little guy looks like he got put in the bottom of the cart, but I don't know what this is. What is it, like a little envelope? It reminds me of like the little pick-me pops. They have, oh, okay, come with, came with a sticker ice cream sandwich. Okay, so it comes with more than just a figure. They don't really mention that unless it says on the back. I don't see it on there, so. All right, here we go. Is it gonna be like the pick-me pops or? Actually, you know what, there's nothing inside. There's no writing or anything, so. It's just a little snack, I guess. So a snack sticker. I thought it was gonna say like, he was like, you know how the pick-me pops say they're scented or something? And then they have like a little pun in there. So ugly dolls, lots of ugly friends. All right, oh, that one's cute. It's like a little puppy. I like that one. And I like this little bat one. There's the bunny one. These remind me of those, um, what are they called, fugglers? And also there's um, a cartoon too, but I'm not gonna tell it to you guys because it's like they're cute little characters, but then they're not. There's all kinds of bad things that happen to them. like. They get hurt and stuff, so it's kind of not appropriate. But that's also what it really, really looks like a lot. So these are like the stickers. There's 12 to collect. So I would have liked the gumball. That one's cute, but I am happy with the ice cream sandwich. I like this. I don't like pie. I'll ask that. I'll ask that in my next live stream. I might have asked it before. I'm going to ask you guys, do I like pie? No, I don't like pie. So, all right. Um, yep, so there's 12 of those to collect, and that's a big one. So you should be able to feel that, but still on the hunt for the little green bunny. So maybe I will get that next time. We will see. But a little bit of cleanup and we'll set our little guy up here, his little package. Here we go. And I will show you guys another thing. So I had this um, and I opened it before and I don't want it. So um, I don't really collect it. So and plus it's a monkey, not my favorite. So if it was a bunny, I'd have totally kept it. But it's a little pet shop monkey Sunday thing. And so you guys can have it and the tail like poses. So, yep, it's like new enough. I just opened it and then literally stored it. So pulled it out and you guys can have it if you'd like. So we are on to three new questions. You guys ready, 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 ready. And, oh, I don't know why it's um, not letting this. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed something. So bye Anna, if you're still here, sorry. And then, um, yeah, also, let's see. Who else? Someone else said um, Gotcha had to go. But Gotcha Cotton Candy. Oh no, who else can speak Russian? I do not speak Russian. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I don't speak Russian. But um, that's really cool. It's so neat when people can speak other languages. I, I took French and I took um, um, Spanish, but I can only remember like a few words in French and then I can remember more Spanish because it's actually used a lot in California. So um, I'm just going to write this question down real quick so I don't forget. And we will go on to our new questions. So here we go. <laughs> the Kika's world can speak a couple languages. It's really cool. All right, so here we go. Jaden Siwa wore a sweatshirt with a fruit on it at Jojo, Jojo Sweet 16 birthday celebration party. So what was the fruit? So here again, it's uh, Jaden Siwa wore a sweatshirt with a fruit on it at Jojo Siwa's Sweet 16 birthday celebration party. So what was the fruit that was on his shirt? Amalia is fluent with Spanish. See, I'm not going to try to speak any Spanish around anyone who knows Spanish because sometimes I sound really funny. But um, yeah. So. I don't even like French silk. I'm not sure what that means. Sorry, I totally descended, so I'm not sure what that means. Um, all right, let's see. Has anybody got it? I'm really surprised. Did he wear more than one sweatshirt? I'm beginning to question this. So I haven't seen the right answer yet. Oh, oh, I see one. I see one, guys. So let's see if two people can get it. So the question, once again, was Jaden Siwa wore a sweatshirt with a fruit on it at JoJo's Sweet 16 birthday celebration party. What was the fruit? 
All right, I see two. So I saw a lot of people said pineapple, and that made me question if he had one with a pineapple. I think I've seen him in a pineapple sweatshirt, but I don't know if he wore it at JoJo's. The one that I specifically saw him wear was one with a strawberry on it. So I was looking for strawberry, and the first person to get strawberry was Totally Descendants. So there you go. Totally Descendants. Great job. And your name goes in. And I just got to write it down here so I can keep track. And then the next person was Ava Ellis said strawberry. So great job, Ava. Ava Ellis. And there you are. All right, here comes our next question. You guys all ready? Let's see, it says, what is the name of YouTuber Tiana Wilson's from the toys, uh, the toy channel, Toys and Me, older brother? So what is Tiana Wilson's older brother's name? And she is uh, the YouTuber with the channel, Toys and Me. So Tiana Wilson has an older brother. What is that older brother's first name? <laughs> All right, I see one. Let's see who else gets it. Anybody in um, a certain country should be able to get this pretty easy. So I know she's really popular over there, but she's really popular here too. So, all right, let's see. I see one, two, okay, a lot of you guys got it. So the first one in was Chloe Davis. So great job, Chloe. And Chloe had actually requested that I ask questions regarding um, Tiana from Toys and Me. So, Chloe Davis, great job. So let me get you in there. And then the second one I saw was Caden's World, said Jordan as well. So good job, Caden's World. You actually got two in already now. And I'll keep reading off a few more just so you guys know what order I saw them in. So after Caden's World, I saw between Chloe and Caden's World, though, I saw Amalia come in with Max, but it's Jordan. So Totally Descendants came right after and with Jordan. Just your everyday words that I forgot. I always forget things when I'm asked, like, on the spot the question. I, I, it drives me crazy. Um, Kawaii Kiwi said Jordan. ALDC Clip said Cor Jordan. Uh, Kylie Sparkle said Jordan. Then Ava Ellis said Jordan. Toybox Fun said Jordan. Then Amalia said Jordan. Then Just Your Everyday Weird. Then ALDC Clips, a lot more people. So. Liana, Lena De Lion said Max as well. Um, ALDC Clips, Squid Punk said Jordan. ALDC Clips, then Toy Box Fun said Max. So, all right. Um, yeah, it totally Descendants hasn't seen her vids in a while. Yeah, but um, I actually want to give away. I still need to do the video. I'm so behind, so behind. Um, but um, uh, his name is spelled Jordan. Let's see. I don't think I was going to do spelling on this one just because I didn't ask it in specific on my website and um, so I know this can be spelt with an O-N or an A-N. Let me see, I'm going back up. Jordan, Jordan, yeah, so Jordan, Jordan, yeah, I, wasn't, I won't do spelling on that one, so here we go. Spongebob questions. I don't have any Spongebob questions. Um, sorry, I don't have any. I have everything that I wrote down from before, but I did pull things from what you guys requested, so I do have those. But here's our last little question for this set. In Nickelodeon's cartoon show Rugrats, what is the name of Tommy Pickle's spoiled cousin? So this is an older cartoon, but I know that they had like Rugrats grown up, so even then you should be able to figure that out. Plus I know that they're kind of bringing them back too, so go. But they brought them back and they became popular again, so. This question you may be able to get, you might not. Um, depends, so let's see. So the question again is in Nickelodeon's cartoon show Rugrats, what is the name of Tommy Pickle's spoiled cousin? All right, <laughs> someone actually knows like the full thing. Um, so there we go. First one is ALDC Clips with Angelica Charlotte. Yeah, you even got the middle name. Um, 
And then just here we do weird, oh no, Angelic. So her name's actually Angelica. So I'll take the next one, Ava Ellis. So yeah, Angelica. Um, so ALDC Clips, then Ava Ellis. Right after that, Squid Punk came in, then Cadence World came in, then Kylie Sparkles. Um, I believe her last name is different. So it's not Angelica Pickles, it's something else because her, um, yeah, her dad's, so I think she has her dad's last name. So, and then Amalia says Angelic, and then Chloe said Angelico's Pickles. Kawaii Panda, or Kawaii Kiwi said Angelica. Uh, let's see, so let me get the names here. It was ALDC Clips. There you go. And then after that, it is doo -doo -doo, Ava Ellis. And you've got two in there. Good job. And we are on to a new blind bag. So, which one shall it be? I've got both sides. I'm not going to throw any questions away this week. Being really careful. So, all right. Oh no, Lena didn't line spell check erase. Yes, yeah, spell check and then um, autocorrect can be like a nightmare when you're trying to spell something that's like not normal, like not like a name especially too. Some. Um, let's see. Someone said you're frozen on my screen. Let's see. Am I frozen? Am I frozen? Let's see. Hello, hello, hello. Is it still frozen for anyone? Oh, okay, so I'm seeing that it, it um, I guess, ended for some or froze or something, so maybe refresh. We'll give it a minute. So, um, oh, this is just kind of blocking something. So, let's see. Everyone, okay, I've got some people that had to refresh and some people say it's fine. So, not sure what's going on, but... <laughs> All right, so Denochi says it's good for me. Toybox Fun says, oh, hi again. So, um, all right. Left in your back, but it's still loading. Oh no. Oh man. Maybe it's a lot of people on YouTube right now. Let's see. It's fine now, it says ALDC Clips. Okay, I don't know what was going on, but hopefully it will get straightened out. I've seen a few people say it's good. A couple of people had to refresh, but, um, oh, Anna Banana says she has five minutes. So if I win, I would want the fidget spinner thing because my mom doesn't let me have it. Oh no, you better make sure she would let you pick it. Unless it's just because she won't buy it for you. But if she doesn't allow them in her house, then be careful what you pick then. So I know some people, like my mom didn't let me have Play-Doh because she didn't like that it made a mess. So, all right. Um, okay, so I see someone says Moj Moj. So Anna Banana requested the Moj Moj. This is gonna actually be my first time opening up one of these. So um, the Moj Moj, they have different like series. So this is like, I don't know, the cool series, sunglass series. I don't know, I don't know what they wanna call it. But um, it comes in like this triangular kind of package. But um, there's 70 plus to collect. You know what this reminds me of? In school, they used to have these um, popsicles for us. They were like fruit ones, and they were shaped just like this. So you cut off the top, and then you'd push it out. And they had like uh, grape, orange, and cherry. So that's this is what it instantly reminded me of. But um, let's cut it open at the top and um, see who we've got inside. It's gonna be a little different than the crunch ones because it doesn't have like a container. But I think I get what it's gonna look like still. All right, so who is inside? Something translucent. It's got little things, so it's gotta be like a dinosaur or a lizard or something. Is there two? Oh, there's two! Oh my goodness, there's two! Does it say there's two in there? 70 plus, okay, I don't know. Did it say? Okay, well, there's two inside, guys, so I don't know. But it's kind of translucent. I wonder if it glows in the dark. For some reason, I don't think so but maybe. So that's what he looks like. He's got a little crooked smile there. I still have a piece of glitter right here on me. All right, 
and now it's on this finger. Glitter just stays everywhere, doesn't it? And then he's got that little spikes down his back. So, and you know how I feel about these. I mean, they're stretched, they're squished, and these are more stickier than, um, what is it called? The, um, the other ones, that, and they come in like a two-pack for a dollar. They're, um, I just can't remember the name now. Oh, look, there's that piece of glitter. So, to wash these off, just put a little bit of soap on them and some underwater. And to clean off your carpet, roll them across, and it will gather everything, and then you just wash it off and do it again until your carpet's clean. But, um, yeah, so these, again, this is actually, actually sticky. So, um, yeah, not my favorite toys because I don't like sticky things that get hair all over them because then they look gross. But the next one I got, it looks like it's some kind of goldfish, but he's got two different sized eyes. And I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, the, it looks kind of odd here. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. As if the thing isn't mixed right or whatever before it set in the mold and yeah it's just they're not like unless these glow in the dark then these are kind of like eh. it's not even a color translucent it's just clear it's like a pineapple gummy bear you know the um clear ones but you know what now looking at this maybe it's just because it was on the table they're a little bit different in color this one's like a little bit more yellow ish but not very much it's just like a tint very very light tint of that so <laughs> I don't know which part, sorry, totally just in it's which part I reminded you of something. Um, Alright, here we go. But we got a sticker, and I like that little squirrel, but I don't know. I would think, it's odd how it's like two different colors. I didn't get any like that. I think that's a clam and then a turtle. So it comes with this sticker, and then, okay, the checklist had like a rubber band about it, so. Alright, but it's not even a rubber band, it's just a plastic piece. So it's got a big old checklist because they're 70 plus to collect. So let's move our package out of the way. But um, the crane game, I actually have the crane game I have not opened. So lots of things that I have not opened. So what is this? Hashtag S so moj. Okay, I thought it was like upside down or something, but um, I guess if you put these in the crane game, maybe they would work pretty well, but oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. So rare is represented by a little star and then the ultra rare is represented by a diamond. So beach babes. Um, hmm. I don't see anything that's totally clear. What is mine supposed to be? I'm pretty sure it's one of these fish, but nothing's totally clear. Like maybe it's supposed to be a blue one or did I just get like a ripoff package where I didn't get any color on it? Let's see, is there another fish somewhere? They all pretty much look like they're supposed to be two colors. Do they change in water or something? Like there's no directions to if they do. Hello, pink cupcakes. Sorry, I'm looking at the checklist, so I'm not always looking over at the chat. So if I miss something, I apologize, guys. I don't see, oh, there's a bunny. Still, I don't know if I'd want it. Oh, it's like a bunny mermaid, maybe? Mermaid, yeah, bunny mermaid. Okay, it's the fish. This is the fish here. And I didn't get partially pink or partially yellow or partially blue. So unless these like color change or they are, you know what? I think they change color in the sun. Is that what it does? Hello, Pop313, cool. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, okay, totally descendants. Yeah, it reminds you of the packaging of the popsicles you'd eat. Yeah, see, I'm not the only one. I guess they still have those around, but it was at school. I could never find them at the store. But yeah, okay, so these might, I'm thinking maybe because this this series says like uh, cool or whatever, maybe you're supposed to put out in the sunshine. So I might have to try that and let you guys know. So it might be one of those heat sensitive ones. Maybe that's why he was a little bit yellower because I was holding him or something. Maybe they changed that color, but okay. The other one that I got was like, I don't even know what he'd be considered. Okay, so he's one of these, Surf Squad. And they don't even like give you like names for him or tell you what it is, but it's one of these. So maybe it's like the blue one, maybe it's the red one, who knows. But I honestly think maybe now that I'm supposed to take it out in the sun or something. But it's like very, there's no, nothing on the package, nothing. So there you go, guys. Um, I do still see these in stores. It's not something we had a while ago. So if you guys know how to operate this, then there you go. Toy Box Fun, I actually have opened up a few lucky little lunch boxes. So I do. Kika's World, she says she thinks it glows in the dark. I could never get it dark enough in here to let you guys see, or it wouldn't show if I got it dark. So I could turn off the lights, but it probably wouldn't show. So, um, 
Pup, uh, 313 Cool, you are very welcome for the letter. And I actually sent you a card too. I hope you got that. So if you haven't, then you should be getting any day now. So all right, um, we've got these guys. So I will show you another prize I am adding to the prizes. So again, I tell you guys every time, I eat Happy Meals too. So sometimes they give you stuff that like they had left over from whatever, but it's uh, Lego, the Lego movie, the second part. It is Sweet Mayhem. I still haven't seen this movie, so I don't even know who this is, but I think it comes with, like a cardboard like body that you can put together for her, something, something inside of her. So it's like a keychain thing. And, then it opens up and you can store stuff or whatever in there. But there you go. If you guys like that or are missing it and you almost have the whole collection, then there you go. You can pick her. So, um, all right, here we go. On to our next three questions. You all ready? You got your fingers on there? Here we go. Fashion Crush, what two clubs have outfits with black and white stripes? So there's two different clubs in the LOL Surprise Fashion Crush that have outfits with black and white stripes. What are the two clubs? All right, I think I see. Either you guys remembered from when I showed you the checklist or you guys were on the site. So um, here we go. Um, the question once again was, in the LOL Surprise Fashion Crush, what two clubs have outfits with black and white stripes? The correct answers were athletic and swim. So the first person I saw to get that was ALDC Clips. So there you go, ALDC Clips. And that is number two for you. And then the next one was Just your everyday weird. There we go. I have to find my place. So, everyday weird. And that's number three, doing great. So, all right, and I'll read you guys a few more just so you can see what order I saw them in. Um, after Just Your Everyday Weird, Squid Punk came in, then Kylie Sparkles, then Chloe Davis. Two box fun, oh no, you didn't know. Um, Anjali Nanda said Swim and Athletic Club, then Pup313 said Aiming um, and Athletic Club. Hmm, maybe you meant swimming. But Kawaii Kiwi said Athletic and Swim. ALDC Clip said it froze. Oh no, what's it doing? Is it really? Oh no. Let's see. Is it working good for anybody? I'm just not sure because I've got really good connection right now, so I don't know. I am not sure. I'm not sure what's happening, guys, but I apologize. Can you guys see me? Can you see me? I'm still here. All right, let's see. Hello, squeezy toys. <laughs> Exit and re-enter. If you refresh, it sometimes helps too. Sometimes I get that on live streams that I go to. It'll freeze, but um, yeah. It still froze. It still froze. Oh no, I'll do things here. I'll move my hands. See you go. <laughs> All right, so um, hello, Amalia. <laughs> I keep on saying hello to everybody again and again, so, um, all right. Uh, I saw someone said, which one was it, which one? Ah, oh, surprise the moles. Okay, so, um, I have a request for the surprise the moles. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hi, 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 hi. So, this is surprise the moles. Let's get it focused first before we keep going. Um, this is series nine. There are, let's see, I don't know how many. Maybe it will just tell us. We don't have to count. Uh, I don't know. We won't count them. It's at least 12. So um, there should be a mystery one. Yeah, there's a mystery, mystery surprise -imals. So um, in the surprise -imals, they have these nice little holes at the top. So you can see some of the fur in there. Um, the bottom usually has like the paper checklist, so it usually blocks the animal, but if you can see, sometimes it's pressed up and sticking out, um, or if you've got your phone, you can use your light and sometimes shine it down in there. You just gotta turn it and at the right angles to be able to see it. But 
I love the color of this ball. It's like white with red and blue swirled and it's so pretty. So um, I've opened up a good amount of these. I actually opened up the mommy and baby ones too before and I got like double unicorns. They were just different colors. So I'm not, oh no, I do see one. Oh, and it's already kind of partially, oh, okay, well that's helpful. Thank you very much. So we'll just keep on going with that. All right, here we go. So inside, I forgot to tell you guys my guess. So inside, I thought I saw like rainbows, so that worm one could be it, or it could be like the, um... oh, okay, never mind. I'm not gonna make another guess. I was gonna say, it could be like the surprise one, but it is the worm one, so it is actually really, really cute. I love the rainbow colors. It's not like a, it's a bright color, but it's not entirely bright. It's also kind of like, um, I don't wanna say pastel, but it's just dimmed down from being like a super, super bright color. But he's got his little antenna things there. Um, and there you go. Let's see, what does his little thing say? Dylan Banana Slug. Okay, never mind. It's not a worm, it's a slug. And I actually just saw someone said, What about the other questions? You guys are right. I skipped over the other two questions. So I'm going to go ahead and finish with this one, and then I will ask the other two questions along with the three questions. So you'll get five questions in a row. So be ready for that. Sorry about that. Um, I got a little confused because of our um, little mishap with the, um, the stream going crazy. So forgot. Um, but here his birthday is September 5th. Favorite color is green. And he says he loves to play in the forest. And then it has, I think it's in French. So, um, yeah, so he's not going to be the Roman, but look at that. That tag's really cool. It's holographic. And we will find out. Let's see. Can we put him here so he can watch us? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Nope, he's going to fall. So, okay, he's going he's gonna to sleep. He's going to sleep this live stream. But here's our checklist. And a really cool ball. Look at how cool that looks. And maybe I can get it over here. So, big, big checklist, but it's not all for, you know, just this one. So they have the Series 1, which I think is pretty cool because if you were ever wondering, or if you lost yours, you've got Series 1, Series 2, Series 3, Series 4, Series 5, Series 6. And I actually have some of the um, the rare mystery ones. I got like a um, silver dragon. That was really cool. So series 7, series 8, and then series 9. So here's the series 9 and I got Dylan, which is green. And green is what? Green is ultra rare. All right, so he's green, which is ultra rare, which is really cool. So out of this one, he is definitely one I would have wanted. Or Doc, that little giraffe with the spots on it. Oh, Zabu. Oh my gosh, Rico's so cool. He's just like a little puff ball. And the mystery one I always want. So it's a special edition. I don't know if these were, I don't think so. I want to say the mom and the babies, but I got a white unicorn. So in diamond edition, I don't know where you get those ones. Those are pretty cool. But there you go, that's our surprise animals. So I will show you guys one more prize that I'm gonna be putting into the giveaway prizes to pick. And then we'll ask the five questions. So I have to show you this way because if I go this way, I'm gonna go like this. So um, go sumos. Um, I had this before and I, they both got picked. So I am putting one more. That's all I've got, I think, in there. So um, I actually have one more of each kind. So this one's the robot one, but um, it's like stickers and you can remote control them. And there's like a free app that you download and yeah so there you go put that in there for you guys so five questions yep you get five questions so sorry about that guys but we'll finish with those and then the two and then we'll do the, the next three so we have um, I have not done that question yet no e-green so um, yeah we'll do the two questions then the three questions so you guys get ready your fingers are gonna be typing a lot so here we go so what is the first city that Jojo Siwa is performing in her dream tour? It's weird that you asked that because that's actually the question. So what is the first city that Jojo Siwa is performing in in her dream tour? The very first city. So all right, I see two people already. Okay, so the correct answer is Phoenix. She's playing in Phoenix, Arizona, or performing in Phoenix, Arizona on May 17th there, but the, um, the answer is Phoenix. So 
Um, again, that question was, uh, what is the first city that Jojo Siwa is performing in in her dream tour? So yes, Phoenix. All right, so the first one was Chloe Davis. The second one was Squid Punk. So Chloe Davis, and I will read a few more. That way you guys can see the order it came in. And there you go, Chloe. And that's two on you, and then Squid Punk. Alright, there you go. Squid Punk. And after Squid Punk, let's see, well between that, um, actually the first person to say anything was ALDC Close with May 17. Well, actually, before that, actually, no, I'll take it back. There was a couple people. So, ALDC Clips said May 17th, then Kylie Sparkle said Seattle, then Anjali Nanda said LA, then ALDC Clips said May 17th again, then Chloe Davis said Phoenix, and then ALDC Clips said May 17th, but it was the city. Then Squid Punk with Phoenix, then um, Just Your Everyday Weird said Phoenix, then Pop 313 said LA, then Kiwi, uh, Kawaii Kiwi. It kind of gets me there, that name. Uh, said LA, then Totally Descendants said Chicago, then ALDC Clips said Phoenix, then Kawaii Kiwi said LA, then uh, Toy Box Fun said uh, New York, and so that's, there was, a, there was, a, there was some more, but um, you guys basically got there. I uh, got it, so um, Pop Through Wendy says she loves my pen. Did anybody notice I have a different pen now? I still have my other one, but I was like, I have these, why am I not using them? So it's a bunny shape. So I've got in like pink and blue and purple and yellow, I think. So it came in like two packs in the Easter section. So of course I had to get them. Um, so, all right, here is our next question, you guys. What creature can Harry Potter speak to? So this one's gonna be a little bit, um, I'm not sure, it might be a little bit tricky, might not, because when I thought of it myself, I was like, maybe they're gonna say this, but I think for the most part, you guys will get it. So what creature, so like what animal can Harry Potter talk to? You want to call it an animal. All right, so I see two already, and you're welcome, Chloe. Um, so the first one to come in, uh, well, I'll read off the answer, um, even if it's not correct. So the first person to guess was Chloe. She said frog. The next one was E. Green, who got it first, and it is a snake. So um, my concern, I guess you would call it, would be that um, you guys were going to guess the basilisk. But the basilisk is a snake, so um, yeah, so that was what I was worried. But you guys got snakes, so first one was E Green, and then after that, just shake your to owl. No, he doesn't talk to an owl, but he has an owl. Then Madeline Darling says snake, so Madeline Darling is the next one, and hello, Madeline. Madeline Darling. And that is your first one there. Oh. Madeline Darling. All right, so after that was Kika's World said Trolls. I'm not sure. She ha he hasn't talked to Trolls. I don't even know if they have, but maybe they do, actually. It's been a while since I've seen them, but I'm trying to think if there's Trolls in Harry Potter. So um, Kylie Sparkle said Frog. Kawaii Kiwi said Frog. Then ALDC Clips, they started a trend, and they said Frog, too. Just Your Everyday Weird said Snake. Then Pop 313 said Frog. Chloe Davis said Snake. Squid Punk said Snake. And then there was a few more, So, but we did get that. So. Um, all right, um, let's see. He speaks a language, parcel tongue. Ooh, that would have been a really good question. I think I'm gonna ask that in my next one. So, parcel tongue, what language, what other language does Harry Potter speak? Or what language, I'll, I'll word it and then you guys will know though. So, language, Harry Potter. That's a really good question. So see, coming here, you get some of the questions, and then I also do the questions on my website, too. I get 12 of them on there. All right, so parcel tongue. You probably won't do spelling on that one just because it's a little difficult, but all right. So that was the two questions that I missed. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the three questions together. So we're getting back on track there. So. Um, all right, so let me see. It says, Squid Punk says that the live feed reloads randomly, and because of that, you feel like it puts the text in. Lags, huh? I wonder why it's doing that. I really, really have no idea. Um, I don't think there's anything really different, other than maybe it's a really busy day. I'm not sure. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know how to fix that. Um, how often does it reload like that? Yeah, and Dobby is a house elf. Yeah, help me with this. <laughs> I'm not sure. 
Um, if it's happening like consistently every 10 minutes or something, then maybe I can like make sure I don't ask questions during that time or something. That way it gets to be fair or something. That way it's not interfering with anybody's answers. But other than that, I don't know how to do it. Totally Descendant said she wanted to get tickets to her Minneapolis show but um, on her birthday, but when all oh, the cheapest were almost $150 each, yeah, they're, they're pretty pricey. And then concerts and stuff can be a lot. So I wonder if that was for like the front row seating and stuff too. Just depends. I actually hadn't looked up the ticket prices because um, I hadn't planned on like traveling if I was going to maybe go to it. But um, I saw that Phoenix was already sold out. But then I heard that she added more tickets um, to a lot of her. Um, uh, locations, but I didn't look to see if Phoenix was one, so now I should, I guess, probably look because it's coming up soon, so. Um, ALDC Clips, you have two so far. So, alright, um, here we go. I will continue with these questions, and um, here we go. In my last live stream, I got two JoJo bows. One was rainbow glitter, what was the other one's color? So I did ask this before in another stream because I opened up another package and I got the same thing. I got a glitter bow and I got a colored bow, but the colored bow is different. So this is for my last live stream. I opened up this one. So, um, all right, here we go, here we go. All right, I see, okay, I see a lot of them. So, all right, here we are. I see the first one to come in is ALDC Clips. She said pink Jojo bow. So ALDC Clips. You were the first one in there, so now that makes three. And then the next one was Just Your Everyday Weird with pink. And I will read off some more so you guys can see. Okay, after Just Your Everyday Weird, Chloe Davis, then Squid Punk, then Kika's World, then Toy Box Fun, then Kylie Sparkles, then Kawaii Kiwi, then E Green, then Madeline Darling, then Pup313, then Kawaii Kiwi did it twice. And then, um, let me see, where'd it go? Squeezy Toy said Mermaid, and then Squeezy Toy said Pink. So yeah, we've got, um, let's see, okay, sorry guys, I'm reading something else. It says, every time I refresh, I think it goes further behind. Oh no. Well, maybe, I know refreshing for me when I do that too, it does do that. So if you guys, I'll give like 30 seconds right now if you guys want to click out to another video. Someone had suggested before because I believe when you come back in, it starts it from like right where it was rather than like refreshing and playing it from where you left off, just new. So I don't know if you guys want to try that. And then it might do better. So I'll, I'll give a little bit of time right now. I'll just talk to myself or talk to you guys. So um, E Green says, please read my comment above. And I believe you'd said that you have some news, but um, you don't want anyone to share it. So um, I guess my advice to you, because you said, should you, um, should you share it? If you don't want it public, you probably shouldn't share it in the chat. Um, if it's something private, you should be careful what you tell their people because maybe it's a little too private and you should keep it within family. So it just depends. You've got to make a good judgment call on that. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure that would be your choice. So, um, if you're just sharing it with me, then I don't share information with other people. So as long as it's okay to share, then yeah, you can go ahead and share with me and you know how to get a hold of me. But um, yeah, that is my advice to you. So um, let's see, can I do a SpongeBob question? I don't have any SpongeBob questions, but I will try to remember. I will write it down to boot do SpongeBob questions. SpongeBob questions, here we go. On my next stream, I will ask some SpongeBob questions. Valentine's Day is bad luck day. Madeline Darlin's bad luck day. Oh no. Oh, they said it's fine on Instagram. It's public. Oh, okay. Well, it depends on what you share though. So if you're sharing that, what you want to tell everyone on Instagram, then there you go. So Totally Descendant says, do I like anyone? Are you asking me if I like anyone? Is that the question for me or is it someone in the chat? 
Do a princess question? It is very hard. Okay, I'll ask a Disney princess question next stream. I don't think I have any Disney princess questions um, for this one. I have Disney questions, but I don't think Disney princess. So there we go. Who's my celebrity crush? Ooh, that's really... I don't know if I have a celebrity crush, to be honest, guys. Because to me, celebrities, um, like, they can, you know, they can be appealing, like you can think they're cute or something, but um, other than that, I think that it takes a lot of how a person behaves and acts in real life. And if they're an actor or like a celebrity, how we see them and how they act every day is usually not how they are in person. So for me, it's a little different because I do, um, I do go for more than just their looks. So I don't know if I have a celebrity crush. I guess I'm kind of lame. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, all right. So let's see. Oh, okay. Madeline is playing Truth or Dare. Okay, so that question wasn't for me, but I answered it. So um, I was asked if I'm going to be playing Fortnite later. I am not sure. Maybe. They have a they have an emote in the shop that I am going to get, though. So I think I will get on, maybe for a few rounds. So it's a bunny hop. So there we go. I do have to get on. So all right, here we go. Here's our next question. I've been talking for a while. Uh, what LOL surprise Series 3 pet has a small black heart on their face? So this one you should spell right because it's all really easy, really easy to spell. So the question once again is what LOL surprise series three pet has a small black heart on their face? Caleb Fortnite all night boy. <laughs> Did you make that name so I'd have to say it? Somebody made a name one time so I would have to say it. But they said you are amazing. Thank you very much Caleb. So all right I see one, two, all right so. The question once again was what LOL surprise series three pet has a small black heart on their face and the correct answer was Royal Kitty Cat. So Royal Kitty Cat's the only one that has that little small black heart on their face um, for series three. So let's see. Um, here we go. Here we go. The first one was ALDC Clips. And that is four for you. Good job. And there you are. And the next one after that is, I see um, Kawaii Kiwi had said first bunny hop or hope, and then LDC Clips said Royal Kitty Cat, then Chloe Davis said heartbreaker, and then Squid Punk said heart marker, um, gesture everyday weird then said Royal Kitty Cat. So there you go, gesture everyday weird, and that is number four for you. There you go. So after that, um, do, do, do. Kylie Sparkle said Royal Kitty Cat. Pup Through Winthy said Heartbreaker. And Chloe Davis said Heart Barker. Then ALDC Clip said Heartbreaker. But I'll show you guys. It's Series 3. So Series 3. Here we go. Okay, so I see what you guys mean. So it's a little tiny one, not a big one. So um, the Glitterati, nope. But there we go, none there. But here it is, it's very tiny. So Royal Kitty has a tiny little heart on her face. And so Heart Barker, you can see, well, I'll show you the rest of these. Nobody, nobody, nobody. And then nobody, and look, Heart Barker has a pretty big heart on her face there. And then these ones. But yeah, the little tiny one belongs to Royal Kitty Cat. Little tiny one. It's supposed to be like a little uh, beauty mark there. So, all right. All right. So, E Green says her news is above. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, very cool. E Green is going to meet JoJo in August. She got meet and greet tickets. That is amazing. You must be so excited. You probably have a countdown and everything for that. So um, that is, that's really cool. I can't imagine the excitement when you get to meet, you know, your, your idol. It, it's gotta be so cool. I never met anybody that I really like idolized as a kid, but I can only imagine how excited you must be. So that's really, really cool. Congratulations. So, all right, Pep Through and Three says, oh no, they gotta go. So, um, okay, add me on Fortnite. Yeah, Pep Through and Three, that would be really, really cool. So I'll be getting on a little later. So 
Um, please this make this a three winner winner questions. Actually, um, I was going to be asking you guys if I should do one more stream in the middle of the week. So I was thinking like Wednesday, so hump day, so right in the middle of the week. That way we can get through the week. We're hitting the middle and it's almost over and maybe I should do a stream on Wednesday too. So what do you guys think? I'll probably put like a, like a, I guess maybe a question, maybe asking a poll or whatever and see if you guys think that's a good idea so I could do one on Wednesday and one on Saturday. So, um, and I'll draw one from Wednesdays and I'll draw one from Saturdays and I'll still do the same thing. I'll just keep all the entries from any month and at the last, um, last uh, Saturday of the month, I'll do like the, the grand prize one. So I'll do my weekly and then the, the three from all the entries. So there'll just be a lot more entries, but um, I probably will just, instead of voting for that Wednesday one, I'll probably just pick some blind bags and I'm just not sure how I'll do it yet, but yeah. So we'll figure it out and we'll see, but we'll see if you guys would like me to do that. So um, yeah, I see a lot of people says yes, that would be really, really cool. So all right, then there you go. So I'll probably will start doing them on Wednesdays as well, but I'll let you guys know, I'll make an announcement and everything. So we have one more question. I don't want to forget it. So there we go. Um, all right, E-Green, I will, and I'll message you that way. We'll keep it private. So E-Green, E-Green, E-Green. All right, got to remember. I gotta write it down because after I've got so much stuff to do. All right, here we go. So one more question. Um, who are Henry Danger's two best friends? So who are Henry Danger's um, two best friends? Yeah, Squeezy Toys next Saturday, the 27th is my um, one that I do the, the big drawing where I have all the entries in. So today I'll just draw one winner and then next Saturday I'll draw um, one winner for my weekly and then I'll draw three winners after that with all the entries from the month. So um, There we go So all right, here we go. So what are the Henry Danger's two best friends? So two names guys And I won't like get you on spelling if you happen to spell a little bit wrong So but you guys are spelling it right. So there we go. Yeah, e green tell me your Instagram again. All right, all right, I see one, two, all right, there we go, okay, there we go. So, the uh, question once again was, who are Henry Danger's two best friends? The correct answers were Charlotte and Jasper, so I won't, you know, get you if you did it opposite, if you did Jasper and Charlotte, but the first one to come in, I saw 12 Box Fun did Charlotte, but it's Jasper and Charlotte. Kylie Sparkles got Jasper and Charlotte, so Kylie Sparkles. How many other people think of Twilight when they hear that name Jasper? Like, I cannot think of anything else other than instantly Twilight when I hear that name Jasper. It just, it's got me. Because it's like such an uncommon name, I think. And then um, they used it and that's like really popular movie that had like four movies. And so I instantly just think of Jasper when, um, or Twilight when I think of Jasper. So um, after that, Kawaii Kiwi said Phoebe and Charlotte. Oh no! Madeline Darling said Charlotte. Toybox Fun said Jasper. And then E Green said Jasper and Charlotte. So there we go. E Green, you got it. So E Green, Jasper and Charlotte together. So um, ALDC Clips right after that said Charlotte Jasper and Anna Banana who's still here, said Charlotte and Jasper, then Amalia, uh, Zulfar fan, and then Kawaii Kiwi, then Madeline Darling, then Chloe Davis. Um, Amalia says her birthday is on August 2nd. So, um, Squeezy Toys didn't quite get Jasper, but um, Jasper and cho Japper and Chocolate. <laughs> um, let's see. An hour later, yeah, I'm gonna have to find out what time would work well. For everybody too. Oh well, Squid Punk. Oh, thank you for coming and off to dinner. Oh, off to cook dinner. I was like, oh, what are you gonna have? But oh, are you gonna make chicken? I like chicken. I really like chicken. So, but thank you for coming. I really, really appreciate it. So, um, don't forget to check back to see if you won. So, I think I've got your contact though. I can always just let you know. So, bye. I will see you another time. <laughs> 
So Madeline Darling said she watched Twilight when she was like two. She so doesn't remember it. Yeah, it, it was it was a while ago. It doesn't seem like it, but if you actually start looking up the dates, then you find that things are a lot older than you think. So that was our third question there, and um, out of the ones that I made up as well. So uh, we will open up a new blind bag. So which one shall it be? We've got the Wonder Ball. We've got the Num Noms. We've got the Five Surprise. We've got the My Little Pony. The Num Noms Magnet cards and the Zubaloos. So, um, there we go. Inside out question. Um, I don't have any inside out questions, but I will write that down. Inside out question. I actually already think I have one, but I have to just double check my answer. So there we go. Um, here we go. Here we go. Your half birthday is today. Oh, half birthday. So what? six more months from today. So in October, your birthday is October 20th. <laughs> So the Num Nums are, one. okay, I see five surprise. I was hoping people would pick the, the Wonder Ball. I'm hoping this won't be melted by the time I get to it. Because the lights are a little bit warm. So um, here we go. The first one was five surprise. All right, so you guys have seen me in my recent streams open up the mini brands five surprise. I couldn't find any more at my closest uh, Walmart, but I haven't gone to the other one where I have been finding them. So I have to go out that way so I can try to find some more. But this is a five surprise pink ball. I have never found the purple. I've only found the pink, the blue, and then the mini brand. So the series two, which this is a series one, the series two purple ball, I've never been able to get a hold of. But um, these have 150 different toys to collect. They've got like animals, like puppies, and then they've got like, um, uh, I don't want to say like mushrooms and flowers. They've got like some plants and then they've got these little ponies which are super cute and then they're, like there's a kitty to go with that. They've got fairies, they've got uh, princesses, I don't remember if they've got mermaids. They've got rings, they've got little stickers and stuff so um, five different things in here that you'll get and if you've never seen me open one of these or open one at all then there you go. It's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah. It's a little tough. You guys know zippers are my enemies. And here we go. This one's a really hard one too. The plastic feels like really thick. Plus it's not like pulling on it where it should be. So, okay, maybe we'll try the top again. All right, I think maybe not. All right, well, we might have to just rip this. I don't know. Still gonna try. Maybe, oh my goodness, you see, these are so difficult. And then this one's not even the only one. There's still one more inside, but they're always thinner on the inside. Look at that. That feels like an LL surprise wrapper, how thick it is. It's super thick. All right, so our next one is right here. <laughs> Madeline Darlin is making lunch. It's like a late afternoon lunch for me. Right now it's 2.45 p.m. for me. So... All right, so here we go. Um, there is a bottom, which is this one, and a top, and it has a little thing. So you just pull this, and it's going to open up like, like one of those oranges, or like if you cut an apple, and there you go. So there are two big sides, which if you put it back together, you can see. So there's the three, and then there's the two. In one of those two big ones, you'll find the checklist. So, I mean, you're gonna open them all up anyway, but, ooh, I got a princess. So, red-haired princess with a blue dress. Who does this remind us of, guys? This reminds me of a Disney princess. Which one does it remind you of? Let's see if I can get her in here. It's always a little challenge. I remember the last two that I got, so. Okay, maybe I can get it in there. All right, yep, it reminds me of Ariel. So, red hair is like a dead giveaway, though. Red hair on a princess. Okay, I'm having trouble getting her in. So, am I supposed to? No, because her head doesn't come off of her body. You will break her if you do. All right, I kind of got it. This is why you never see me put the clothes on the LOL dolls in my videos because I have issues and you'll see me struggling for quite a while sometimes. So there we go. She has her dress on and she's all ready. So it does remind me of Ariel, so. There we go, she's got a little crown barrette. And there you go, that is our first surprise. I used the little caps to hold them still, so clever. 
Okay, here's our second big one. So here's our checklist. And then here's a stamper, and I bet it's got a strawberry. I've gotten like three of these so far, but we'll have a look at our checklist after we've opened up everything, but we will check out our stamper to see what it has inside. Is there a little tear strip on you? No, okay, well, here we go, best we can do. Maybe. I might have to use like scissors on this. She's in a Cinderella dress, but it's Ariel. That is true. That's true, Kawaii Kiwi. All right, I got it. Here we go. <laughs> so, it's a strawberry. I would have won. I would have won a bet. It is a strawberry. So, strawberry stamper, and it stamps red, obviously. So, that is our second surprise. I guess we'll open up this one. Here we go. And, ooh, I think this is my first ring. So it's really pretty. It's very, it's not even glittery, like it's just, it's, it's sparkly. It's not glittery though. So it's not glitter gonna come off on you, but that is really pretty. It's a little butterfly and it would, <laughs> it just barely fits my pinky. So there we go. It, yeah, you're gonna come off? Yes, come off. So for littler fingers, this will fit fine. But mine, mine are adult fingers, but I still have small fingers, so. But that is really cute. I've wanted to see one of those in person, but now I have, so. All right, what else did we get? Oh, a bracelet making kit. So this is my first time ever getting one of these, but it, you've got a lot of really good beads here. They're translucent. I see a butterfly when it's kind of shaped like a, a burst of light. Um, and it's like kind of like a diamond shape. Is this a heart? Oh, it's a bow. There's a little bow shape right there. Some green, oh, there's another bow. Some green, yellow, orange, oh, a clover, like a four-leaf clover. So these are, oh, there's another one of those. Oh, look at all these. So another butterfly, a big star. I think there's maybe a heart. No, it's a bow, so there's no hearts. That's surprising, because normally they give you hearts, but yeah, there's a lot of good little things in here. And then it comes with this pink stretchy string. Yeah, it's stretchy, all right. So there you go, you can make a very pretty bracelet. It almost looks like you could make two with as many beads as it is, but maybe not. And you could always add your own beads and make it longer and make it a necklace, but you probably have to get some more string too. So if you had it, then there you go. We'll put that up there. All right, so that was our fourth surprise. Oh, this is kind of already open for us. Here we go. So these I'm not super impressed by, I will be honest. Um, they're just kind of like little buttons, I wanna say. Little badges, but you can like hook it on like your shirt around the collar, just wear it or something. So I think it'd be like cuter maybe if you had like clothes on a stuffed animal and you wanna put on there, but it's a purple bow, so you can always pretend it's like a JoJo bow pin or something, and then there you go, you play with it. So, um, but yeah, I mean, it's just like, it's kind of like a little cheap toy like a quarter machine kind of toy, I would say. So, but I mean, it's still cool. So the other ones are definitely better, especially the beads, with the little stretchy string. So there we go. We've got our five surprises it's empty and you can always put it back together and put this on it. So um, it's easy to do that, but I'm not gonna take the time to do it. So we will have a quick look at our checklist. And there we go, the five surprise collector's guide. The ponies, I love the ponies. I wish I'd got one of those, but look, thermo change mermaids. So these mermaids change color, probably warm and cold water. Butterfly rings, we got one of those. The brushes and combs, I have not got one of those yet. The badges, I believe I've gotten that one twice now. I don't think I've gotten any other one, but I do know that I've got that one twice. So cute pets, and I believe, I thought they had, a, yeah, they have a bunny, it's right there. So that reminds me of the bunny from the movie Pets. And we've got the thermo change plant. So I know I've gotten the sunflower and I think the rose. So they change color in warm. The dress of princesses, I know that I've got this, these two bottom ones and now I've had this one, but I've given them away. So I don't have them anymore. And I will be giving that one away too. Highlighters that are shaped like ice creams. Those are so cute. I haven't gotten any of those. They have key pens, markers, and glitter glue pens. I know I've gotten some glitter glue pens. I don't think I've gotten anything else. Stickers, I know I've got some of those. And Silly Bands got those too. Um, hair clips and bands, um, I've gotten one of those and I don't think any of those. Stamps, yes, I've gotten the strawberry like three times now. I would have loved to get a paw print 
or cupcake or any of those. Those are all cute, but the strawberry, I've got so many. Gem beads. It looks like there's only like one. Like they only just give you a bag of beads and that. Shoes, never got any of those. Ice cream cones, never got any of those. And even more surprises. So there's other stuff too that you can get. But I don't know what else. I think they pretty much they gave you a big checklist. So there you go. Um, it does look like a JoJo bow. It does. But we will go on and let's see, what else do I have? Just trying to see if I have anything else out of the way. So another prize that I will be adding, I did show this to you guys on there. So I'm kind of giving this away. So the first one, the top one, the owl, is for you guys and the bunny. I'm gonna keep the bunny, you guys. <laughs> so I got the package because I wanted the bunny, but I'm like, I'm, you know, I don't need two. So I'll just give the owl away. So it is berry sorbet scented lip balm and no harsh chemicals kid friendly so there we go but i don't care if it's for kids i want the bunny one i like the bunnies so there you go the bunnies and this is from simple pleasures so i'm not sure try culture disease yeah there you go all that boring stuff but just if you have allergies make sure that you're not allergic to any of that stuff if you pick it so there we go the bunny one is for sugar bunny but you guys get the yellow one so um all right here we go we're on to three new questions you guys ready i am ready if you are <laughs> You love the bunny too? No, I love the bunny. I love the bunny one. Um, all right, here we go. What is the capital of the state of Tennessee? What is the capital of the state of Tennessee? Yeah, the owl's really cute, but owls aren't my favorite animal. So if I kept everything that I thought was really cute, I would this whole table would be full of things you'd never see me and <laughs> be buried in things so all right so the question once again was uh what is the capital of the state of tennessee and i see a lot of people with it so the first one in there is aldc clips with nashville very good aldc clips so nashville tennessee that is the capital of Tennessee, Nashville. That is number five for you, good job. So you can keep guessing, but um, for five, we have the limit of the five. So after that was E Green with Nashville. And there you go, E Green, that is number three on you. You came and got them in quick. So there you go, after that ALDC Clips against the Nashville and just your everyday weird. Then ALDC Clips again, then uh, Kylie Sparkles, Chloe Davis, Totally Descendants, Kawaii Kiwi, Anjali Nanda, uh, Madeline Darling, and then Maxi Fan said good, and then she said Nashville. So um, it's okay, we are only about halfway through Mackenzie, you're not late, you're, you're doing good, so no worries. Alright, so here we go. Um, Next question, when is the YouTuber Tiana Wilson's birthday? And again, this is from the channel Toys and Me. So the month, the day, and the year. And I know this one was on my website. So the month, the day, and the year. I know if you're in the UK, you're probably gonna be doing the day and then the month and the year, but I'll get it. So when is Tiana's birthday? The month, the day, and the year. <laughs> I'm usually always late. I'm usually always late. Me, Sugar Bunny's late. So, all right, so I see one, two, three, all right, so here we go. So the correct answer is December 24th, 2007. So, all right, so the first one to get it in there was Mac Z Fan. You just came in and you got one already, great job. Mac Z Fan. So if any of you guys are wondering how a lot of people are getting these so quick, um, I put some of the questions that I'll be asking during my live stream on my website. Um, if you go to www.sugarbunnyhops, just like my um, YouTube channel here, .com, um, then you go under live streams, there's a drop down menu, you click the live streams and then scroll down and I will put two new questions on there every day so you can go and get the answers in advance. And I do post on the community tab of my YouTube channel and on my social medias to remind you guys of that. So. Um, after Maxi Fan, let's see. Oh no, Chloe came in with a P instead of a zero. So the next one, December 24th, 2007, is Kylie Sparkles. So Kylie Sparkles, great job. And here you go. Kylie, that is number three. All right, so after Kylie, 
It says E Green, then Anjali Nanda, so December 2007. Koei Kiwi, then Just Everyday Weird, then Chloe Davis. Ah, oh, he corrected it. So, Toybox Fun says she's my age. Yep, Toys and Me. If that is your age, then yep, she is your age. So, um, all right. Totally just ended. That was the 23rd. Oh, it's December 24th. It's a day right before Christmas. So, um, I do have more um, LOL doll checklist questions. So, Hello Unicorn Toy 30 welcome! <laughs> so we're in the middle, we have one more question, then we're going to open up another blind bag, but we have more questions than just this is the last little set right here. So here we go. In Harry Potter, what is the first name of the founder of the House of Hufflepuff? So in Harry Potter, what is the first name of the founder of the House of Hufflepuff? Oh, I see you guys getting it already. Oh, two, I grabbed one extra. All right, so the correct answer is Helga. Helga is the first name. It's Helga Hufflepuff. She was the founder of the um, Hufflepuff house. So first one in there was Just Your Everyday Weird, and that's number five for you. Great job. Just Your Everyday Weird. All right, so the second one in there was, up. Oh, I see Helena, nope. Um, Chloe Davis said Helga, so yep, Chloe Davis. There you go, that is number three, Anya. So after Chloe was Kylie Sparkles, then Kawaii Kiwi, then Maxi Fan, then to Toy Box Fun, then Madeline Darling. Um, oh, and then Totally Descendants. So I knew that, but I thought it was the day before Christmas Eve. Yeah, no, it was actually just the day before Christmas. So then Maxi Fan said Helga, and then Unicorn Toy 30 said it's Saturday today. Today's Saturday. So, yep. All right. Um, you remember when it sounded like Helena? Yeah, sometimes I do that. I do that too. Like all these little things, like everybody has them. So I thought first, I thought it was something different too. That's why I, I made sure and I look it up. So, all right. So that was our last little set of questions. So what blind bag are we going to open up next, you guys? Right now it's 2.59 PM for me. I'm on Pacific Standard Time. Okay, so the Wonder Ball, how about that? They said Num Nums are the Wonder Ball. So we'll do the Wonder Ball because I'd like to get the chocolate like in a little bit of a darker place. So like I said, I found these a few days ago. Um, I found them at Walmart at the check stand, which is always where I find like the Wonder Balls or the, um, the rad surprises that you guys see me open, unless they've sent them to me. But there are three surprises inside this. You get one charm and bracelet, the animated card and the candy, and the candy definitely is a good surprise. So they have character shape, there's like a little puppy, I think it's like a little hamster or bear, a unicorn, and then I want to say like it's like a cat, but I don't know, for some reason it reminds me of like one of those those um, foxes or something, I don't know, but yeah, I would like anything like, I like grape, I love grape, grape's like my favorite, unless it tastes like medicine then it's not. But they've got all four animated cards, so there's four different animated cards and there's 18 different charms. So hopefully, maybe they have a bunny one. So fingers crossed for that, but the unicorns are always like a plus. So bring your pygmy cards to life. Download the free app. So there's a free app at the app store. So I'm not endorsing this or promoting this. Just make sure you got your parents' permission. So here we go. Inside we are going. All right. So I love Wonder Balls and they always have the, I actually saw somebody like ask people if they open up the aluminum foil and um, they spread it out and flatten it. Like they said, it's very, um, what is that called? It's not ASMR. Oddly satisfying. There you go. I couldn't think of it. So here we go. Here's our Wonder Ball and we'll see what kind of candy. It's a little bit so it's soft. Okay. So I got, like, see, uh, I was going to say it's all the blue kitty, but this is, this is the unicorn, you can't really see it. Like the stuff is kind of like, like rubbed off or something, but this is like the little hamster character. And then I think this one's the cat. Then I got another cat and another hamster character. So you can get the different characters, they'll just be all in the same flavor. So here's our chocolate, it's got a little bit of the, the powder from the 
the little, um, they're like sweet tart candies. But I'm not gonna open them or eat them. I opened it, but I'm not gonna eat them now. And I have my hands have chocolate on them. Okay, here we go, I got something. <laughs> that chocolate looks way too sweet. No, that chocolate, you know what, Jerry? Chocolate is fantastic. Chocolate is really, really good. Sugar is really good. Sugar is good for you, Jerry. So, um, thank you for always making you happy when you're sad. You are very welcome, Kawaii Kiwi. I am very happy I can do that for you. So, here we go. This is our card, I'm assuming. It's not... Okay, so I was under the impression that it was going to be animated. So I guess it's only animated when you go onto the website or the app actually and move it. So it's the monkey with the banana, Leroy the monkey, series one. Um, yeah, I thought it was going to be the one where it's holographic where you twist it and it changes, but it is not. So that's a little disappointing, but kind of gives you his like bio right there. Favorite treat is banana flavored anything. Favorite pastime, banana skin skating. So unlock all four characters. So it gives the outline, so you can definitely tell. It's gonna be the unicorn, it's gonna be that cat, it's the monkey, and then that little hamster. So the different little characters right here that you can get are gonna be the four different cards. So I would say that this is the one I probably would have wanted to get the least because monkeys are not my favorite, guys, but oh well. So inside the bottom there, Sugar's gross. No, it's not. Sugar is really, really good, Jerry. And then here we go, our bracelet, our checklist. Okay, let's see which one we got first. Oh my goodness, okay. Now how many people, like this is exactly the one that you would wanna get, isn't it? The unicorn is like usually like the most popular. I mean, right next to bunnies. After bunnies, then the unicorns. So that's really good luck, I would say. And then the pink bracelet, that's pretty. It reminds me of the colors of the, um, the Smooshy Mushy keychains. So it's a really pretty pink metal color. But yeah, look at that. In the back, it's just got some wording, but I always am curious as to what's on the back. But you can always take it off and put it on something else if you want. So a nice little lobster clasp, which seems very difficult to get off right now, but I can do it. There we go, I did it. So there you go. Um, all right, so we will have a look at that checklist and see the different ones. See if there's a bunny, because bunny, there's a bunny. It's Ebby the bunny. So I got Dream the unicorn. So I don't think that any of them are harder to get than the other, but you know, if you're trying to get one, it's always hard to get the one you want. It just seems that way. So Skittle, Fetty, Ollie, S'mori, Rhubarb, oh, S'mori, Rhubarb, Chata, Fuwa, Leroy, and Shelby. So we've got Leroy um, as the card. What is the other one? Okay, so Fetty is the other one that you can get as a card. Why didn't they do the bunny? Come on. Ebby's like the best one here. And then the unicorn. Um, Gizmet, which I think is the other one. So that looks like a hamster. Peachy, Flub, Snowy, Monty, Tartar, and Tubble. Tubble's really cute. A cow. I have like two t tartars, but I don't think that they call them tartar. I thought it was tater. The golden retriever or something. Maybe I'm, I don't know. I'm gonna have to check that. It's gonna, then I'm gonna wonder. Oh, here you go. Look, it even shows you. There's the four to collect. They make it seem like it's a mystery in here. And then they tell you right here. They actually show them to you. So there you go. How to activate your card, your code. Okay, so that's how you do it. So I probably won't be doing that for me, but who knows? Maybe I'll get really bored one day and do that. So, but super happy with getting the unicorn, you know, there's a lot of other ones that I would have rather not got, but this is definitely one I wanted, so there we go. <laughs> um, sweet is too sweet for candy. No! Who are you guys? I don't even know you anymore. Sweet is so good, but I do like sour. I like sour candies, so sour candies are really good. So, all right, um, let's see, next prize, what shall we show? Um, how about this, how about this Dr. Pepper Lip Smacker, um, what do you call it? Lip balm, lip gloss, I don't know, what would you call it? Best of flavor forever, okay, let's see what they actually call it. I don't see anything, but it's lip balm, okay, no, it's lip balm right here, made in the USA. So this is lip balm. So Dr. Pepper, flavored and scented, so um, yeah. Dr. Pepper is not my favorite, but I do like it. So Mountain Dew is my favorite, but um, I know that a lot of people like Dr. Pepper, especially gamers. For some reason, it's like a gamer soda. I don't know why, but there we go. This will be in the prizes to pick. If you would like, you can get some Dr. Pepper lip smacker 
and there you go, that's it. <laughs> the unicorn has a, let me see. It does, it does have one of those faces. You guys can see it. It has the colon and a three sign. So there you go, to the side. Jerry Ladder just pointed out it has the two dots and a three. So it's got that little happy face that you make on your own when you're texting. So sugar, it's me, call it you again, my phone died. Oh no, it's Star Motto. So you've got somebody else's account. So welcome back on someone else's account there. So Totally Descendants was never a soda person. I don't know, I just like, I love Mountain Dew. I love Mountain Dew, so good. So Toy Box Fun just did the face too. All right, so we are on to our next three question. Oh yes, okay, E Green says yes. Sugar is awesome, but it is does have a downside what it does to your teeth, yes, and yeah. Totally understand that, so. Uh, all right, I love grape soda. Oh, Everyday Weird says she loves grape soda. Grape soda is really good too. I actually like apple soda too. I like Pepsi, I like cherry Pepsi. I like, okay, let's, let's have a question here, you guys. It's not a question like to get an entry, but what do you guys prefer? Do you prefer Coke? like Coca-Cola or Pepsi. So Coca-Cola or Pepsi. If you don't like soda at all, then you can't really answer this, but if you guys had to pick, what is your preference? Do you like Coca-Cola or Pepsi? So let's see. Because I know this is like a huge cause of like debates and stuff, like everybody's like, oh, I prefer this or I prefer this. And I have one I prefer, so let me see what you guys prefer and then I'll tell you what I prefer. But even though I think I've said it before, so. Just your everyday weird. Oh, E Green first said neither. Yep, because they're maybe not a soda person. No, they don't like that kind. So, just your everyday weird said Coke. Maxi fan said Coke. Starmato said Pepsi, who is Kawaii Kiwi. Um, Madeline Darling said they just realized they have coffee in the fridge. Um, Kika's World said Coke. Maxi fan said Coke. Anjali Nanda said Pepsi. E Green says they prefer lemonade. I prefer. I won't say I prefer, but I really, really like homemade lemonade. That's super good. So Jerry Ladder says Pepsi is far superior. Madeline Darling says they prefer coffee. Um, oh, Starmato knows that I already prefer. Yep, you guys, I prefer Pepsi. Um, lemonade or sweet tea? Yeah, totally descendants. As I got older, I started liking sweet tea as well. Kylie Sparkle prefers Pepsi. I prefer Pepsi. Pepsi to me is sweeter. Um, Coke has more um, carbonation, so I'm not, I mean, I like Coke, but I don't, if I have a choice between the two, I will grab a Pepsi 100% of the time. So Pepsi is sweeter, Coke is more carbonated and less sweet. So like, as I'm drinking, like, I just feel like I have to burp like instantly, my, my first gulp of soda and I'm like, uh, so yeah, I don't, I don't like it as much, but um, I'm trying to think of any Coke product because Coke, I think, has Sprite, and Pepsi has 7-Up, and then Pepsi also has Mountain Dew, guys, so then there you go. So Pepsi has Mountain Dew, and I think Coke has, like, Mellow Yellow, and I prefer Mountain Dew 100% over Mellow Yellow. So, but then I also like Cherry Pepsi much better than Cherry Coke for the same reason. Um, so, yeah, Coke tastes like Mellow. You know what? Soda is actually really bad. Like, I always remember, like, my mom tells me that like you can take the rust off of everything with like coke so if you like leave something rusty in like a bottle of coca-cola like it'll take the rust right off so she's like just imagine what it's doing to your stomach and i'm like continue drinking my soda so i don't know but there we go so yep pepsi is better i like it for me actually so um all right uh, we are on to our questions now that we've had that little discussion so uh here we go in what year was the Declaration of Independence signed? And I hear someone's trying to cry to me, so I'm going to go get them. They're crying at my door. So, uh, in what year was the Declaration of Independence signed? Give me just one sec, guys. All right, okay, while I was gone, I see, let's see, one, two, all right, we've got enough answers, there we go. Um, <laughs> 
So the question once again was, in what year was the Declaration of Independence signed? So you didn't need the uh, uh, the actual date, like the whole date, but I will take your answer if it had the year in it. So the correct answer was 1776. So um, yeah, if you're not in America, that's maybe not something that they're teaching. So um, the first one to get it was Mac Z Fan. So here we go. Mac Z fan. And you were worried about coming in a little bit later. And there you go. You've already got, what is this, two, I think? I believe that is. So maybe let me double check. Yeah, I believe that's two. And then the next one, <laughs> Starmato said Pepsi Squad. So just your everyday word. You've got the five. So then the next one is, oh, totally descent. 1798. Nope, 1776. Kylie Sparkles grabbed that. So Kylie Sparkles. There you go. And that is number four for you. And I'll read off a few more so you guys can see what order I'm seeing them in. So after that, E. Green said 1776, Anjali Nanda said 1776, Starmato said 1798, um, Toybox Fun said 1776, Jerry Ladder said uh, 1860. Nope, Jerry, you're off by, by a little bit there. Um, Starmato then said 1776. Yes, one of my, well, I, she's not a puppy, she's an adult dog, but yeah, my little dog, she was crying. She wanted me to take her and let her out, so. Um, and then Madeline Darlin said August 2nd, 1776, so yep, I think that one might have been on my website, so uh, E. Green literally just studied it and you're continuing to in school. Oh, that's, that's helpful, wasn't it? So, um, all right there, but, um, oh, Toy Box Fun is from Ireland. Um, I think, I think actually, if you're from Ireland, I think I do remember. Did you have a character with red hair on Instagram, Toy Box Fun? If I'm remembering right, or maybe it was on YouTube. So I do remember someone from Ireland, but it could be a different person. I've got a lot of people from different places, but there we go. So, um, it feels like I've had them for six years already. Oh no. Oh, okay, so yes, then I do remember you, Toy Box Fun. It's just different, like a lot of times I remember people by their names, sometimes by the picture, sometimes it helps to just have both. But I, then I do remember you, yes I do. So, um, all right, here we go with our next question, you guys. What type of Pokemon is Lapras? So L-A-P-R-A-S, blah, blah. I was trying to spell it, but I think I said it really weird. So L-A-P-R-A-S, what type of Pokemon is Lapras? Let's see how well you guys know your Pokemon. Oh, I see somebody already, you guys are good. So what type of Pokemon is Lapras? All right, I see a lot of people with it. Okay, good job, you guys. Um, so the correct answer is water. Lapras is a water type. She kind of looks like a, or he, because it could be both. Uh, kind of looks like a Loch Ness monster there, um, but a nice one, like a cute one. So the first one to have water was Just Your Everyday Weird. You got five. So then the next one, Madeline Darling didn't know. Kika's World said Earth. Starmato, which um, you're Kawaii Kiwi, right? I believe. So let's see, did you have one already? Kawaii Kiwi? No, so we'll just, use, well, you, you didn't have one yet, so we'll just use your new name, Starmato, for now. Starmato, because your phone died. So um, there you go, Starmato. And I'll write you down here. And then Maxi Fan said, uh, water as well, so I'll keep reading and let you guys know what order I'm seeing them in. And that's three on ya. So after that was Kylie Sparkle said ice water, and then E Green said water, E Green said earth, Amelia Barrett, hello! So Amelia says hi. Uh, Maxi Van then said earth, then yep, Stomato confirmed. So Amelia Brett said she can't go live anymore. Oh no, I know that they made some changes to YouTube, but um, I'm not sure. I thought they changed some of the things back, so I know you've got to have a certain amount of subs or something to go live, but or maybe it's, I'm not sure, because I, like I said, I do think they changed it back, but um, yeah, that's a bummer. 
You're very welcome, Stomato. Jerry says, I know nothing of Pokemon. Oh no, Jerry. Jerry, you've got to know something of Pokemon. Something. What is that main Pokemon that's an electric Pokemon? Everybody knows that one, so you can't say you know nothing. You've got to know something. So here's our next question, guys. See if you guys know anything about Harry Potter. So in Harry Potter, what is the name of the ball in Quidditch that the players score points with? This is a little, little hard. So you guys have been asking for a little bit harder questions. So here you go. So in Harry Potter, what is the name of the ball in Quidditch that the players score points with? So there's like, I think three or four different kinds of balls. So let's see, Anjali Nanda, let me go back and check. She asked if I saw it. Yeah, Anjali, um, yeah, it came down. There was probably, let's see, let's see water from Just Every Day Weird, then Starmato, then Maxi Fan. Anjali Nandi were right after Maxi Fan. So, yep, I did, I did. Sorry about that. Keep trying, though. Keep trying. Do I like French silk pie? Totally Descendants asks. I am not sure. I'm not sure what that is. You have to describe it to me or tell me. Is that like a specific brand? I'm not sure. Is it relative to any particular country or is that in America? So, I am not sure. Oh, oh here, let's see. I was going to prove that. You need 1,000 subs. That's such a bummer. So, all right, so the question once again was in Harry Potter, what is the name of the ball in Quidditch that the players score points with? Now I see one, two, three, four. Okay, I see it. So let me go through. Um, just every day where it said, I know just a little bit about Pokemon, but all right, here we go. Here's the first answer. E Green said Quaffle. So that's your fourth one. Great job. It is the Quaffle. Because the snitch, the golden snitch, is the one that they try to catch, and then when that happens, the game's like instantly over. Oh, and then the next one, oh, totally just in it said snitch. Nope, it's the uh, the quaffle. Madeline Darling said quaffle right after that, so great job. Madeline Darling, that's number two for you. Madeline Darling. And there you are. So after Madeline, uh, Maxi Fan, then Kylie Sparkles, then Starmato said Snitch. Nope. Kika's World said Flying Ball. Yep. They're, the Snitch is the Flying Ball. The other ones they have to move around. Um, Amelia didn't remember. Yeah, that happens to me all the time. Um, just your Everyday Weird said Snitch. Toy Box Fun then said Quaffle. Anjali said Quaffle. Kylie said Snitch. Maxi Fan said Snitch. So you guys are guessing a lot of them. So. Um, <laughs> Oh my gosh, Jerry Ladder says, oh my lord, I know nothing of Harry Potter either. <laughs> so, um, alright, Unicorn Toy says cat, and then E Green says snitch is the seeker's way of scoring points and winning the game as well. Yep, that is true, that is true. Just your everyday weird says they love Harry Potter and fantasy magical stuff. I do too, I really like fantasy magical stuff. Harry Potter, um, I'm not afraid to say that I like Harry Potter. I'm not going to say I'm like a super, super, super duper fan where I know everything, but I did enjoy the movies. So, and I probably should read the books, but now that I've seen the movies, it's like, I don't know if I want to go back and read the books. So, but it's really good to read. So I would definitely say read the books if you can over the movies because I'm going to endorse reading because reading is good for you. Helps grow your vocabulary and helps you spell things right. So, um, all right. They need 699 more subs. We'll keep working at it, Amelia. It just takes a lot of determination. So, Totally Descendant said, My brother used to be obsessed with Pokemon, but you haven't watched it in like 10 years. Oh, wow. Yeah, um, my brother was definitely obsessed with Pokemon. I actually just found I have Pokemon cards from like a long time ago, but um, yeah, I just found them. So, it's going to be interesting looking through them. Unicorn Toy said, Sugar Bunny, tomorrow's happy Easter. Thank you very much. Happy Easter to you as well. And happy Easter to everybody. Happy early Easter. <laughs> Madeline spit coffee all over her instead of drinking it. Oh, no. So, um, all right. So, we are on to our next one. That is right. So, someone is requesting the Num Noms be open next. Which Num Noms, guys? I have the Nom Nom Snackables and then I have the Nom Noms uh, Magnet Cards. So let me see, I did do both sides of this. I'm not throwing away any questions this week. All right, num nums. Oh, cold brew coffee. Oh, you know, it used to be a bad thing to have coffee cold and now it's like such a trend. It's just crazy because cold coffee was like, just it's, people would complain and want their money back for cold coffee and now people are buying cold coffee. It's just crazy to me. So, all right, num nums. Um, which one, which one, which num nums? 
All right, the magnets, the cards. Okay, you guys. So these, you are not going to believe it. So I've been posting and I showed you guys that they have a lot of things that were like blind bags at Target. So Target, not Walmart, guys. Target that were like, um, they're usually like around 4 or $5, something around that, sometimes 6 and they brought like them back in special boxes that look very similar to the like the shape of the other boxes, but it's it's like yellow and black and it says spotlight savings and I did post some of them. So these were look at this, a dollar. So they get a special sticker and they slap it over the old barcode and I mean I just grabbed a bunch of these. So I think these were probably around four or five dollars originally. I don't remember ever seeing them in stores, so some of the things I did see in stores, some of them I didn't, so maybe it was like some kind of like shipping thing where they didn't get them out in time and they just had them and they're like, what are we gonna do with them? But if you guys saw um, one of my friends, BBL Blind Bags, they actually opened up one of those giant mystery eggs where they had a whole bunch of like terrible blind bags in it, like from shows that I don't even know, like One Punch Man, like I guess there's a really big following, but it's not something I'm not, you know, into, and I guess it's more boyish toys, or less like I'm like the girly things, but I do like some boy stuff too, so I can't say that. But here we go. It's the Num Num Series 1 and 2 thing, so it kind of reminds me of the LOL Surprise. They had Series 1 and 2 um, dolls in there, but it's scented. So they're scented magnet cards. You get three magnets, one scented sticker sheet, and one mini poster inside. But they've got special edition characters. Now, there's like no hack for these that I can tell you, and again, it comes in a new box, so so I think that there's not going to be any like new box like unboxing like somebody opens up a whole package where you can find it in anything and I couldn't see through it so even if you like press the package right onto the thing it's like I know it kind of looks like it is that's just part of the packaging it's kind of faded lettering toward the back so there's no way to tell so you're just kind of on your own but for a dollar you can kind of afford to get a couple and maybe get what you want so um, maxi fan you have three entries in there so far so here we go. <laughs> Alright, so this one's our poster. Oh, and then our sticker. Ooh, we're gonna keep it a mystery. <gasps> there we go. So you guys know bears aren't my favorite, but this is pretty cute. So it's got a sprinkle background, and I'll be honest with you guys, like this is a cutout, and normally I would, wouldn't punch them out, but I would punch this out and then I would take the edges and I would probably cut them out into shapes. I would maybe like make a little bunny head right here. So I would make magnets out of this part that they consider like trash. So I would definitely, like you could do a heart, you could do a flower, you could do anything. I'd probably cut that out. I might cut that into a shape of a heart. And then the nom noms thing, I'd probably cut that out too. So let's see the other two we've got. So the bear one that smells like chocolate and I'm gonna smell it and I'm gonna let you guys know if it really does, so. Mmm, I'm a little disappointed. Do these smell? It doesn't. Okay, let me have a look at the thing. So we're scented. Okay, and take it back. These are not supposed to smell. So maybe this is just supposed to like indicate what the original Nom Nom smell like because it says scented sticker sheet. But these do not smell. I was gonna say it smells like nothing, like nothing, nothing. <gasps> Ice cream! I think this is a bunny hiding underneath the, uh, the bear, but I love the waffle cone ears. If you guys remember my painted rocks that I did of the Nom Noms, the painted ear one was like one of my favorites. So ice cream, like ice cream and sprinkles. Oh my gosh, okay, I think this is Razzy. She's something Razzy, but I don't remember her full name, but it's a bunny, so this is awesome. So the blueberry bunny, Razzy, or like raspberry, I think is what it's supposed to be a play on, but it's blueberries, so there we go. I got the bunny, so I'm pretty happy I got a bunny one. But it's not a punch out card, so this is the only punch out card. But there we go, that's our three. Here's our sticker, it's a bear. It's a bear of some kind, but the ears are missing. Okay, this smells really good. This smells really good, and I it's so nostalgic for me. Like, scented stickers, like, I loved scented stickers as a kid. It was like, like, compared to like finding like a dollar on the ground or a penny on the ground, like, this was like finding a dollar on the ground to get a scented sticker. It was like gold. Oh my goodness, and I love the smell. It smells so good, so I definitely highly recommend if you find these at your Target to grab one because you're gonna love the scented sticker if you love that kind of thing. So there we go. Oh, but it's, okay, let me look at the back real quick, sorry. So it's ticker two of eight, so there's eight different ones. So here's our poster. I'm wondering if it's gonna be like a poster to stick your stickers on. 
So I wonder if there's different posters too. So smells like happy. What does happy smell? I guess happy to me would smell like something sweet, something candy-like. So what would happy smell like to you guys? There's a lot of things that would make me happy, like green tea ice cream, and like sprinkles, like cookies and cream ice cream too, something sugary. Here we go, on the back it says, collect all four posters. Here's the answer to my question. Oh my goodness, let's roll. That one is super cute, but let's see. I don't like sushi, but I think sushi's really cute, especially when they make it into characters. So let's roll it's sushi and wasabi. That's really cute. So taste buds, that one I'm not super fond of. Glad I got the one I got over this one because it's curly fries and ketchup and I don't like ketchup. Unless it's on my hamburger, I don't like it on my fries. But it's still cute, but it just would be my number four pick. So, coolest num in the kitchen. So that one would be probably number three. I think this would be number one for me. And then this one would be number two. Even though it has a bunny eye, just because it's just so cute. And the way it's so simple, it's just got a few colors, and it's just big and bold. I just, I really like the design. So, collect all eight scented stickers. Here we go, there's the one I got. That bottom one right below, it's really cute too. And there's no, what are they crazy? Are they crazy? There's no bunnies in there. Or is, no, that's a puppy. There's no bunnies. Someone lost their mind. All right, so here's the 24 Magnus and they have a bunny punch out and another bunny punch out and another bunny punch out. Okay, someone was a bit smarter there. So there's the bear. Another bear, another bear, another bear, and there's a kitty. They only give you one kitty, although it's kitty fans. So then there's more, there's the, like, the individual ones. So this one's kind of like the poster that I got. That one's kind of cute, it's the little popcorn kernels. Here's another one of those, it's like a raw tuna sushi one with the wasabi underneath, and there we go, that's bunnies. And sweet BFFs, that's kind of cute. I like this one better than this one, I don't know what this is, pizza? And I got that one, and I got that one. Eh, I don't know, the colors, I like the, the purple and pink colors. And then that's a candy apple, a caramel apple. Go bananas, so it's a, it's a bear that likes bananas. But there's a lot of really cute ones. And for a dollar, these are really, really good. So, all right, so, oh, Amelia Barrett said they're gonna make slime, they're gonna upload a video later. Very cool, send me a link if you want me to watch it. So don't forget. So, all right, uh, Maxi Fan said, what am I doing for Easter? I am gonna be working, working on YouTube, working with work stuff, and hope that maybe I get to spend some time with my grandma. So I will see, I'm going to give her a call. But um, we opened up a thing, and I will show you something else I have for you guys. So, this Spinner Lip Gloss, I believe I did post this on the Community tab, but again, I post everything on my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, so that you guys can see it. And if you guys really wanna see stuff that I post on my social medias, but you are not allowed to have it, and I totally understand that because a lot of parents don't approve of it, don't want it getting into their house because it takes a lot of time and it can distract from important things like family and school and stuff, then you can, without having an account, as long as it's okay with your parents, I don't want you going behind their backs, but it's a nice way because you don't get sidetracked into lots of other things, lots of other posts and stuff, and it's very kid-friendly on mine. Um, but on my website, sugarbunnyhops.com, you can go to the drop-down menu that says Instagram and see all of just my posts. So um, you can keep up with them on the week. I usually post a few times a day. So um, this spinner lip gloss is by Taste Beauty. They always have tons of cute different little um, lip glosses, different shapes. The containers are always awesome. They have like some like shaped like coffee cups and they're really cute. But this one's sweet donut flavor. So these are interchangeable. And then you put them in the spinner, spin them, open them up and get the lip gloss. But they've got chocolate mint, strawberry, grape jelly, chocolate raspberry and lemon. So there's a lot of cool little donut flavors, but I mean five little lip glosses and then a spinner and that's, I just think that's super cute. So mix and match the flavors, whatever you'd like to do. Maybe do your top lip with grape jelly and the bottom one with lemon and have a mix like that. So whatever you'd like to do, but I just thought this was really cool and I thought you guys would really enjoy it. It's like lip gloss and a spinner in one, like, you know, that's, that's got two of your favorite things. All it needs is slime in the middle, and then you got you got everybody's attention. So there you go. This will go in there, and winner can pick that if they would like to. So we are on to three new questions, guys. Oh, Toy Box Fun says that's the one their mom gave to their cousin. 
So, oh, Tolly Descendants is following me on Instagram. Thank you very much. Do I prefer lipstick or lip gloss? I'm not sure if that's being asked to me, but I will ask, I will answer. I would prefer lip gloss. I actually don't even wear lipstick. So, um, lip gloss, especially because they're like flavored or um, scented. So, um, it just kind of gives like a nice little color to your lips. So, yeah, there you go. That is my answer. And let's see. How do you request the toys that you want me to open in the lives? Um, so the toys that you want me to open, um, if it's one that I give you guys to vote, I put it on the community tab of my YouTube channel and that's where you vote. So um, all you gotta do is go to like my homepage and if you look across the top, there's um, a bar with different things. So just go to the community and then it should say in there and then you can vote. I post it daily so that you guys can pick the one and whatever one gets the highest votes wins. But you can always message me directly um, if there's a particular toy that I haven't got yet or haven't found or I might even have it but I just haven't put it out for you guys to vote on yet. So um, yeah, um, Starmato has to go to sleep. Oh my goodness, it must be late then because it's only 3.30 in the afternoon for me. But thank you so very much for coming and go ahead and check, um, look toward the end of the video and then see if you won. So don't forget to do that. Um, but there we go. Uh, probably lip gloss, um, you do it on Instagram. Oh yeah, no, I haven't, I don't put a poll on Instagram. I do it on YouTube because that's basically where I have my channel and everything. It's just kind of like a reminder on Instagram to let everybody do it on the channel. So um, someone says open the heart balloon next, please. Well, we're gonna do the questions and then I will open the zoo balloons for you guys. So I've never opened one of those. It's my very first time. And I know it's gonna make a lot of noise when I have to pop the thing on my table. So everything will shake, but here we go. Um, you guys ready? Here comes those three questions for you. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. So. How many daughters does King Disney's King Triton have? So how many daughters does Disney's King Triton have? Let's see. I actually knew this one. I did verify. I just always double check and make sure. But I did know this one too. So the question is, how many daughters does Disney's King Triton have? And I see answers already. Great job, you guys. So, um, the first one in, wow, Maxi Fan, holy cow, okay, well, I, I give you an A++ for that one. Um, Maxi Fan says seven, and she's got the names, so, I mean, I didn't even know the names, like, great job there. I, seriously, so Aquata, Andrina, Arista, Ati Atina? Adele, Alana, and Ariel because I know that they have the song where they said all their names but like they say it so quick and they're like high-pitched voice and like I didn't but yeah it's seven so Maxi Fan was the first one to get it and you've got four now so great job. Maxi Fan. Alright um next one so unicorn so uh unicorn toys so toy box fun update box channels oh okay I'm not sure what that means, but we'll keep on moving on. So Kylie Sparkles next. Oh, you got your fifth one now. So Kylie Sparkles sub seven, and I will keep reading so you guys can um, see what order I saw them in. So good job. Oh, I forgot a K there. So there we go. Sparkles, now it makes sense. It looked weird. So Kylie Sparkles, good job, number five. So after that, Totally Descendant said three, and a banana said three. Um, or totally just didn't said seven. I think I might have just said she said three. I was reading Anna Bananas. Anna Bananas said three, but Anna Banana, I thought you had left. You keep on surprising me. Maxi Fan said seven. E Green, uh, take it back. Just Your Everyday Weird said seven. Anna Banana said seven. And Jolly Nanda said seven. Jerry Ladder, 26. That's a lot of daughters, but nope, it was seven. So Maxi Fan said the names again. Wow, holy cow. Um, Toy Box Fun said seven, Kika's World said seven, Maxi Fan said seven, and then Maxi Fan, Max Z Fan, she probably does copy and paste. This might have been one of the things I asked on my website, so I'm not sure, but she might have like a page on the side, so you're allowed to do that. Um, but you're not allowed to put all the answers from all the questions that I've asked on my stream, because it has been asked twice now. 
Um, if you take all the answers from all the questions I asked on my live or my website and put them all together in one comment and paste it at any time I ask the question, I don't accept that. So, um, so how many do I have, Bunny? So Toy Box Fun, let's see. You've got one in there. Hello, Kitty Sam's World. Hello. They're all in the prequel, too. Oh, my goodness, there's a prequel. Okay, I'm far behind in my movies, guys. I'm still trying to see Descendants and Descendants, I think, 1 and 2. I don't know. I think the third one's coming out, but I couldn't find it on Redbox. Couldn't find it on... Um, What's that other thing that you have on uh, Netflix? And so I'm, I've got to try to find it on YouTube or something. So, all right, here we go with our next question. You guys ready? Somebody asked, do I have any more LOL surprise questions? Yes, here it is. What LOL surprise series three pet in the storybook club is wearing a crown? So the question again is what LOL surprise series three pet in the storybook club is wearing a crown? <laughs> e Green is saving their response for a specific question. That's really smart. Anna Bennett keeps coming and going. Well, thank you for coming every single time. I appreciate it. So, all right. I loved keeps opening. I'm not sure what that means. So, yay. Yep. Just keep trying to box fun. You probably get a lot more in. So, all right. So, Kika's World. Just Jeffrey Do Weird. Kitty Sam's World. Okay, there's people getting in there. So, all right. The correct answer. Well, I'll read the question again, and I'll give you the answer. So, the question was, what LOL surprise Series 3 pet in the Storybook Club is wearing a crown? The correct answer is Heart Barker. Now, I know everybody was guessing Heart Barker earlier for the little heart on the face, but the little heart is on the Royal Kitty Cat. Um, heart Barker's got a big, um, big heart. So... Um, the first one to get it was, let's see, let's see, let's see, Kika's World. All right, so Kika's World, that's two for ya. And then the second one was Just Your Everyday Weird. There you go. Actually, I'm sorry, you've got five there, huh? Okay, so then after that, um, Kitty Sam's World. All right, there you go. So Kitty Sam's World it actually reminded me of something, so I'm going to be doing that real soon, too. All right, so the next question, you guys ready? Okay, I'll read off a few more. And then that way you guys can see. So after Kitty Sam's World was Anna Banana. And then, oh, I totally just sent it so it's on Amazon Prime. I actually don't have Amazon Prime anymore. I had it a few months ago, but I don't have it now. Um, Maxi Fan said Hearth Barker, Toy Box Fun, and E Green, and Maxi Fan, then Maxi Fan, then Kylie Sparkles, then Sienna Toe. Hello, Sienna. I think you're new here. Welcome. Uh, let's see. Um, Gabby Base, yep. Um, or I could just buy them. <laughs> Yeah, at the store, but I, I've like so veered away from buying DVDs or Blu-rays or anything because really you can find like everything on YouTube. Like I just look up everything. So, um, and I probably only watch them like once or twice. So then however much that DVD is, I'd have to say, okay, I spent like, say it's $15. I spent like $7.50 to watch that each time. And then I would, you know, I, it's like almost like going to see a movie. So I'll wait till I can find it on something that's a bit cheaper, but... Yeah, but I still really do want to see them. They're on my list. So, all right, here we go. Um, question number three on this set. In what country was YouTuber Kira Bridget born? So this was actually a request, and I don't think the person that requested it's here anymore. But um, in what country was YouTuber Kira Bridget born? A cartoon question. I am so sorry, Tobax, but I have all my questions pre-written so that I don't have to stress out about getting the answer. But um, <laughs> um, here we go. So answers coming in. Let me see. I see one. Oh, let's see. I see two. All right, there we go. So I will read off people's um, answers. Um, the question was, in what country was YouTuber Kira Bridget born? Um, the correct answer is England. I see Bermuda Triangle said USA. Kylie Sparkle said Canada. Toy Box Fun says England. So there you go, Toy Box Fun. Now you've got two. So Toy Box Fun. Yep, 
and she was born in England. So um, the next person, let's see, I see Jerry Ladder said Canada. Callie Sparkle said Europe. Um, it's like a continent, right? <laughs> Bermuda Triangle said Canada. So maybe Canada. Just your everyday weird, just retracted. Okay, Kitty Sam's World said USA. Bermuda Triangle then said Canada. Uh, Tony Sinna says, I don't follow her. I don't either. I don't even really know very much about her at all other than what I've just looked up for um, the questions. So there you go. Um, Kylie Sparkle said, uh, let's see, where, where? It just skipped down on me. So let me get back. Australia, Maxi Fan said Canada. A lot of Canada and USA. So Angeli Nanda said USA. Um, E Green said Canada, Maxi Fan said Canada, Kitty Samsworth said Canada, Just Your Everyday Weird, you've got five in there, and you said England, you got that right. Bermuda Triangle said I spelled it wrong, Maxi Fan said Canada, Kitty Samsworth said Europe. Isn't that a continent? Uh, yeah, I'm like, Sugar Bunny is not like a super fan of like history and stuff like that, so yeah. Don't, um, don't judge me, guys. <laughs> I'm just Ask me a math question or an English question. Don't ask me these questions. I ask you guys these questions. So Maxi Fan, all right, so Maxi Fan said England after that, so there you go. Uh, I believe that's four on you. So Mac Z Fan, England, great job. It's kind of blurry, but you guys see it. Um, Kitty Stands World then says Asia, another continent. Um, all right, so we've got a lot of them, so. Um, all right, so that was our question for that. Um, that's so funny, you guys bring up Canada. I've got a question about that, so I think that I might have put that on my website too. Maybe, maybe not, but we'll see if you guys know it. Um, but we are on to our next blind bag, and you guys requested the Zubaloos. So it's Zubaloos, not Zubaloons, even though I would think it would be, because these are balloon animals. So this actually worried me, because I've seen people have difficulties with these, just when you have to pop open the balloons. So here we go. It is one set. It comes with one zoo balloon, which is like the little figure. One ADP a balloon or a bop a balloon. Okay, it was like weird. It's all stretched. So it's one bop a balloon and one sticker. So of course you guys know I'm hoping for the monkey. Um, I mean, oops, sorry. I'm hoping for the bunny. Yeah, you guys knew. And I think this is like a dog, I'm not sure. So I do know how to make a bunny balloon animal and I, knew, I actually know how to make a lot of them. So it was something I wanted to learn, but it's super cute. I have seen like the whole series set. They have different ones. They've got this pink heart, they've got like a green flower and then they've got an orange or a purple something else. I can't remember now. But um, I've seen that the bunny comes in the pink heart, so, you know, the chances are like, maybe, I don't know, because it's the rare one, and so there's like six of them that come in the pink, so who knows what I'm going to get. But we'll open it up and find out. There's a couple zippers, so I don't know where to start because it doesn't have one on the outside one. Maybe. Oh, no, it does. Okay, here we go. I could see the one through the next layer where that one is, but here we go. There it is. So here's this one. That's the one I was trying to open first. So there's a little hole there, but I know everything's in the bag. So I don't think you're gonna have any luck. And unless it's a new box, I don't know if anybody's opened up a brand new one. So here we go. Are you a bunny? Please be a bunny. So a checklist and a warning instruction. Yeah, well, that's garbage because we can we can figure this out. Unless you're really little, but by then you're probably not even reading that yet. So. I'm so excited. I want it to be a bunny. I hope it's a bunny. <gasps> Is it a bunny? I have a feeling like it's a monkey. Okay, it's a snail. That's not as bad as a monkey. Monkeys and bears are like, I want to say like my least favorite. So it's a snail. That's kind of cute. It's not a bunny, but these are a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. Um, wow, they're hollow on the inside. Okay, so they're kind of like a mashems, but with no liquid inside so oh now it's stuck His head is all stuck together okay there we go we fixed it but it's cut the little ends of the balloon so I don't know that you'd have two unless you use two balloons to make this so snail and like I said it's a lot bigger like I got some out of the quarter machine they're not zoo balloons but they were balloon animals that were rubbery but um they were small smaller and I think that um I thought they were going to be similar in size, but again, these also have like air in them, so I did not expect that either. I thought they were just going to be really hard, rubbery little figures. So there we go. There's our snail, and then the part that's 
Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll delay that a little longer. I've got a sticker. <laughs> so our sticker's got a couple little balloons, stars, and circles on it. So it's kind of like confetti. You could probably decorate like the, uh, the little heart here with that. So I guess it's whatever you'd like to do. I don't think you decorate your figure because that would probably not even stick to it very well. But, oh, the balloon. Okay, so I'm supposed to... Oh my goodness. Ugh. Okay, I'm not supposed to open it. I'm just supposed to smack it. Can you see that? I'm just supposed to smack it with my fist. And then it's going to pop open. And then I just make it a balloon with this little stand. That, I don't know where I just put it, but it was there. It's missing. It's missing now. Okay, now it's here. This stand. So my table's gonna shake, my camera's gonna shake, and hopefully it will not look like it's an earthquake. Hopefully this will pop pretty easy for us. Fingers crossed, guys, and it's probably gonna make a lot of noise. So, all right, here we go. Ready? <laughs> I feel like it's the uh, the party pop teenies all over again. Like, I'm so dreading this. <laughs> Did it for you guys. All right, here we go, here we go. Oh! It's making noise. Oh my gosh, okay, it got me again. That's a little stressful, I don't know. It's it's not as it's not that bad though. And it's laughing at me. You see this? Look at this! But you can can you hear it? It sounds like soda, soda fizzing. And it's cold to the touch. So whatever chemical reaction they have in there that makes it inflate like that, there's definitely something cold in there liquidy, because I can see it too. So shake it up a little bit and it's gonna help inflate that. I've seen a few people get some like bogus ones where it didn't work at all. So kind of reminds me of like glow sticks when like it's already been snapped or something, like it won't work. So I think maybe they had that issue maybe during packaging. It got busted and then didn't, you know, open up. But it has little confetti pieces in it. So not too bad, definitely not as much as like the confetti pops or the pop teenies, which I found confetti like everywhere for like forever. I was still picking it up and I was wondering sometimes, I was like, what is this? But there we go, and we stick it on this. So it's got a nice little stand. So there you go, this and this. <laughs> so here it is, a snail and a little balloon. It says lol because it's laughing at me. It reminds me of the, um, what's it called? The Pillsbury? The those um what are they called you guys know I've told you guys before the like biscuits when they pop it bugs me it's like whack-a-packs oh I don't remember what whack-a-packs are I'm gonna have to look that up smash shake and then it will pop yeah so <laughs> it's just a little bit um a little bit scary because I don't know when it's gonna do the popping thing so the confetti pops I knew like the I just I knew when that was gonna happen but I wasn't expecting that so Oh, there's still more confetti in here, so let's make them finish making the mess. There we go. We're good. So, all right. So I will show you guys another thing that I got for the prizes. Um, here we go. Little doll. So I thought this was pretty cool. I've gotten a lot of these dolls before for you guys to pick, and I have not seen any like superhero ones. So this one, it reminded me of a lot of different things, but it was one superhero, and I actually found a new box on top. I got it down. And there was only one superhero one in the whole thing of all the different like little princess ballerina and fairy ones. So I thought it was really cool. Um, red hair reminds me of Ariel, but then like the mask and everything, but the dots reminds me of like the miraculous ladybug. I know the miraculous ladybug, the hair isn't red, but the outfit and stuff, the ladybug is red. So between that and that, it, that's what it reminded me of a lot. So I just thought that was pretty cool. So this will be in there if you guys want to pick it. So there you go. I don't have any confetti. I thought I did. So. Here's our three new questions. You guys ready? You got two Yellies bunnies. I saw one of those in the, the background of one of your pictures, Kitty Sam's World. I almost said something, but I didn't. It was the white one. I saw that one. So um, croissants or cinnamon, anything that pops, any of those Pillsbury or any kind of brand that pops like that. Like if it doesn't pop on its own and have to go through like and pop it with like a, a butter knife or something, like I'm not expecting the pop and it always gets me. Like I jump a little bit and I'm not like scared of stuff like like that. It's just, I don't know why that gets me. So all right, here we go. Are you ready? What is the capital of Canada? What is the capital of Canada? more confetti this way so let's see what is the capital of Canada guys 
All right, I see a few in there. All right, so we've got enough there. So let's see, going back to the top, the first one that I see is Mac Z Fan with Ottawa. So Mac Z Fan. And that's your fifth one, great job. So here we go, right after that she said it twice. Um, Kitty Sam's World said Sir Flufferton and Fluffertail. Yeah, they had some funny names. They kind of still look like spiders to me for some reason. Their big eyes, the way they are like that. Um, totally Descendant said My Little Pony next, please. Okay, so we'll do the My Little Pony next. Um, Bermuda Triangle said Montreal. Nope, it's Ottawa. So just your everyday weird. You got Ottawa too. Good job. You got five in there, but you did get it. So Maxi Fan then said Ottawa again. Totally Descendant said C. Kylie Sparkle said Victoria. Bermuda. Blah, blah, blah. Bermuda Triangle said Ottawa, so great job there. Bermuda Triangle, you got in there. So Bermuda Triangle. And there you are, that is your first one. Let me write you down there. All right, so after that I see Oh, it just skipped down for me. Um, Toy Box Fun said Ottawa. Anjali Nanda said Montreal. Kitty Sam's World said Ottawa. Unicorn Toy 30 said Ottawa and sent a little heart. Kelly Sparkles said Ottawa. Jojo Siwa Fan for Life says, hey, hello there, Jojo Siwa Fan for Life. Totally Descendant said Ontario. That is a city there. But um, no, not Ontario. Ottawa. It did start with an O, though. Kitty Sam's World then said Montreal. How many blind bags do I have left? I have one... Two, two left for you guys. So Kelly Sparkle said, oh, do you feel so stupid? No, don't, don't feel stupid at all. Just some things we know and some things we don't. You don't know it until you learn it. So don't feel that way at all. So Jojo Seawall Fan for Life came in there and threw out Ottawa. Yeah, I got my two. Um, I'm sad my mom won't let me see Pet Cemetery. Madeline Darling says, oh no, I don't know that I've actually seen the old one. Um, I believe there's a movie for the old one. I know there's like a book. Um, but then I don't know if I'll see the new one. Not sure, but there's reasons. So um, Yeah, so all right. Yay. Thank you. You're welcome Bermuda Triangle um, And Jojo Siwa Fans for Life said congratulations. Thank you very much. I really appreciate when people are good sports I really really appreciate that and they congratulate one another so um, It's supposed to be really scary if you're 12. Yeah, sometimes things can really like scar you Especially if you don't want to be scared at night walking down the hallway then there you go. Toybox Fun says, guess how old I am? Mmm, nine. Nine. That's my guess. So, um, it's not your usual furry pet animal movie. Yeah, animal pet movie. Waltz loves the parent trap. There's been a couple different parent traps. So, um, there was the one with, like, Lindsay Lohan, and then there was, like, an older one with, like, I think two little blonde girls. I don't know their names, though. So, all right, here we go. Here is the next question. In Disney's Ratatouille, what did the rat Remy hide in to help the chef cook? So in that movie, Disney's movie Ratatouille, there was a rat, his name was Remy, and he hid in something so that he could help the chef cook. What did he see? What, what did he hide in? I'm sorry, I was reading something. Um, what did Remy hide in to help the chef cook? Kitty Soundsworld says, it's a horror sugar bunny, yeah. Um, I, I, I knew it was a horror movie, I just haven't seen it or anything. I know it's like an older one. Pet Cemetery is a bit older. So, um, the original one anyway. So, let's see. The question once again was, in Disney's movie Ratatouille, what did the rat Remy hide in to help the chef cook? So I see some answers coming in. And the first one in was Toy Box Fun with hat. So yes, he hid in his hat. He hid in the chef's hat. The um, it's like the big white one, so Toy Box Fun. And you've got three in there, great job! So alright, Toy Box Fun was the first one that said hat, right after that was Kika's World. Oop, so hey guys, and Kika's World, that's number three for you. So there you go. Um, right after that was Kylie Sparkles, then Just Your Everyday Weird, the Breeding Beetle Triangle said Hat R, or Yat R. And then 
they changed it to Chef Hat. And then Tully Descendants said Hat. Jojo Siwa Fan for Life said Hat. Just Every Day Weird said Chef Hat. Kitty Sam's World said Hat. Jojo Siwa Fan for Life said Hat twice. And Jolly Nanda said Chef Hat. Um, Toy Box Fun says they're 11. Okay, so I was off a little bit by a couple years, but I didn't have much to go on. So um, let's see. We will go on to um, oh, Toy Box Fun. Yep, yep. I saw that you were 11. Sorry, I read it. I was reading it a little bit behind because I was catching up. So um, here is our next question for you guys. And a banana. Hey there again. <laughs> All right, here we go. Um, what zoo? are the animals from in the DreamWorks movie Madagascar. So what zoo are the animals in the movie Madagascar, what zoo are they from? So what zoo are the animals from the DreamWorks movie Madagascar from? That's the city. I see someone said New York, so, um, that's the city they're in. But what zoo are they in? What zoo are they from? <laughs> the Bronx. No, not the Bronx. Um, so, I see New York City Zoo. That's not it. I thought that too, Like, but then I was like, wait, no, that's not it. And so I looked it up just to make sure. So let's see. All right, I see a couple with it. Okay, so, all right, guys. Um, it said, the question once again was, what zoo are the animals from the DreamWorks movie Madagascar from? So the correct answer is the Central Park Zoo. So I saw USA, I saw New York. Um, Amelia says, hi, Anna. So welcome back, Amelia. I know you were gonna go make some slime and post the video. Um, Jojo Siwa Fan for Life said New York. Anna Banana said New York. And Jolly Nanda said New York. Toy Fun, Toy Box Fun says Bronx. Bermuda Triangle said Bronx. Um, then New York City Zoo, Kylie Sparkles. Do you have, uh, oh yep, you do. But Kylie Sparkles was the first one to get it. She said Central Park. Then Anna Banana said New York. Kitty Samson said New York. Um, then Bermuda Triangle said Central Park Zoo. So there you go, there's our first one. Bermuda, Bermuda, I keep on having trouble saying that. Bermuda Triangle says Central Park Zoo. You are right. So that's two for you. Great job. And then Kylie Sparkle said Central Park Zoo, but you got five in there. USA. Jojo Siwa Fan for Life said Central Park. So that is our next one. Or did I already get to? Let me go back up. No, no, no. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, no, there was this uh, one. Okay, so yep, JoJo Siwa Fan for Life. JoJo Siwa Fan for Life. Is it FOR or the number? I'm missing it. Okay, FOR. Okay, here we are. So there you go. So, uh, write it down. And don't forget that if you guys get your name in here, that at the end of the month, I will also be doing the, um, it's actually next Saturday, I'll be doing the grand prize drawing where I draw three winners from anyone who got an entry in the month of April. So if any time during um, the month of April, including today and next week, I will weekly stream as well as the monthly one I'll do. Um, I'll have all the entries, um, then you will get a second uh, second chance drawing. So if you don't win today, then don't give up, you know, because you could win at the end of the month. Plus, I have one every Saturday. And you guys, in case you weren't here earlier, um, I was talking about maybe having another stream during the middle of the week on Wednesdays, because um, I know not everybody can make it on Saturday. And maybe it would just be a nice little thing in the middle of the week to help us get to the weekend. So, um, but yeah, I'll definitely... Um, you know, ask you guys, you know, what day would work for you, what time and everything, and to see if I should even do it. So we'll, we'll try to figure it out together. But um, yeah, so that was our third question for that. And someone asked, how many questions do I have left? I have six questions left. So I have six questions, two blind bags, and two items to show you guys for prizes. So um, I actually do have something else to show you as well. If you haven't already, let me, grab it really quick things are falling okay so if you haven't already 
um, there's still time until the end of my stream. Um, if you go comment um, something that reminds you of Easter on my last live stream on 4.13 um, in the comment section on that, then um, you can enter up to 10 times. So after this stream, I will draw a winner for one of these. Um, and you to win this whole little sticker sheet. It is international too, so just in case you're wondering, but all you gotta do is comment something that reminds you of Easter, but make sure each comment is a different, um, like put in separate comments. So you can comment that eggs remind you of Easter, um, bunnies remind you of Easter, um, chocolate reminds you of Easter, um, anything. So just 10 different comments and there you go. So that's for that. And next week, I will be letting you guys pick from this one, this one, or this one right here. So there's three different ones that you can pick from. It'll be like the unicorns, the cats and dogs, or the fantasy animals. So um, I'll let you guys know what you need to comment on this video once it posts in the comment section to be entered to win these. But um, yeah, just keep watching for my post. I post it to Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and then the community tab of my YouTube channel as well. So you'll get to pick one of those sticker sheets for, um, you know, for winning. So. I think that's it for that little bit, but um, I did forget to show you guys the Zubaloo's checklist. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, Toy Box Fun, I'll definitely be letting you guys know, like seeing what day works for, for best. So between, I don't know about Monday, because Monday's pretty close to Saturday, but not Friday either. So, um, and maybe not Thursday. So it'll be like Tuesday or Wednesday. We'll see which one works better. So Zubaloo's, these are all the commons and I got a common snail, so pink. So there's different color variants of them, three of each. So there's snails, frogs, monkeys, mouse, octopus, and pig. Oh, and then there's the rare metallic. So there's teddy bears, sheep, dog, the crabs, and then there's the ultra rare glitter bunny. Of course it had to be the bunny, the hard one to get, and then a hamster. So definitely, I just want the bunny, guys. I just want the bunny. I want the bunny. The octopus is pretty darn cute. So, all right, and the frog looks like, I don't know, it just makes it look like that's coming out of its mouth instead of being like its arms or something. So, but yeah, there you go. Sorry about that, I forgot, I forgot to show you the checklist. So there it was. But we are on to our next blind bag, and you guys requested My Little Pony. So, My Little Pony Cutie Mark Crew. I believe this is Series 2. Yep. So there's 24 different ones to collect. Series 2, I believe I've got um, the Princess Luna one in this, and I think I've got a Pinkie Pie. I've opened like three or four of these up. So, um, these actually were on sale for a dollar. They don't have the sale anymore, and I know they were like selling out like real quick at uh, GameStop. They had a whole bunch of things on clearance for a dollar. So these were one, but I did get some of these from Target before and they were on clearance too. So I was super happy about that. I think they're like a dollar twenty-eight. But yeah, so um, in addition, I bought a few before when they were brand new for full price. So, you know, say la vie. So here we go. Get that. It's already Easter for some people. Ooh, gotta look for the Easter baskets. Oh, can I play Fortnite? Yes, I do have to play Fortnite after because I have to get on there and um, get the bunny hop emote in the shop. Oh no, I think it's already past the time. Oh no. I hope they still keep it in the shop for like two days or something. So, all right, so here it is. Oh, it's Pinkie Pie. For some reason, I think I got this one. Oh no. Okay, so I haven't got this one, but this one is actually the one that's on the front of the box for free. So she's got a cannon, and um, she has a little stand, so it's a clear heart. You can stand her on this, and I believe the stand, yeah, okay, so it does. So in the other ones it did, but the stand can fit into the little um, thing there. So there's her key mark, three balloons, two blue and a yellow, so... Um, she's got that curly hair, but yeah, this is hers, but this one, like I said, comes on the box, so if you had bought, like, the whole box, or if it was an empty box and you asked for it, you could have got this one for free. So it wasn't super, like, one I was trying to get, because I already got two, because I've got two boxes, but there it is, anyways, and inside, we've got another party cannon. There you go. It's getting a little dark, so let's see, take that out, but you can stack these, and that's really nice, so you can put Pinkie Pie in there. And then store her and display her. So, yeah, let's see, it's kind of maybe I should turn it. Maybe, yeah, I guess this one doesn't close all that great, but there we go. Pinkie Pie in there displayed. So, here is our checklist. 
It's got all the different ones, so you can get ponies or you can get like the girl versions of them, the Equestria Girls. So, oh, that one's really cute, Pinkie Pie, and she's got glittery hair. So there's a lot of other ones I would have much rather got, especially because I already had that one. So, uh, Princess Luna, yeah, I did get that one. So, um, other ones I've got... What one did I get? I just don't remember, other than that Princess Luna one, because that one made a big impact. I was super, super happy. So it might have been in Series 2, but they had other little figures in the sets, and I still see these at the stores, like Walmart and stuff. So, Pinkie Pie, the ultimate party planner, always brings her party cannon. So I don't have a party cannon. I guess I'm not a party planner. So there we go. But uh, yeah, if you're a party planner, you gotta bring a party cannon so you can sprinkle confetti. That's actually not a bad idea. Cause you know they've got those poppers, so if you had like this big old cannon, you know how cool that would be? It would be really cool. You'd probably watch a YouTube video if people made one and had that, so yeah, it's definitely a good idea. So, um... <laughs> oh no, poor Sugar Bunny, happy Easter. I can see you debating on eating your chocolate bunny or not because it's a bunny. Actually guys, I have... I have a, like a white chocolate bunny and its name is Sprinkles and yeah, that's exactly, I don't even know if I want to eat it but then I know that it will get gross and nasty like after time it just becomes dust. <laughs> so um, here we go. This is an 18 inch lanyard little um, mermaid thing so I know this got picked so I had another one so I'm putting it in there. So it's purple, it's got it's mermaids with blue hair, red hair, different colored tails, this is like rubber. It's got that little hook on it and it says it's good for annual passes, which is always what I think of first. I don't know why. You can just use it for a keychain holder. You can also use it to hang like your house key on it with a keychain too. School or work badges. So there you go. But yep, yeah, or it could just be a necklace if you want and hang whatever you like from it. You can hang some toys from it. Um, a lot of them have clips. So there you go. That can be picked if you want it. And we have one more blind bag to open up there and I have one more prize to show you guys. And we have six more questions. So here comes the next three. We'll do those other two and then three more questions and then we'll draw a winner for our stream. So um, how many blind bags do I have? Kawaii Panda, just one right there. So um, I will be doing Fortnite after this to check because now I'm really scared that I missed it. But uh, yeah, here we go. You ready? I'm ready, so here we go. In Harry Potter, the House of Hufflepuff has what animal on their crest? So in Harry Potter, the House of Hufflepuff has what animal on their crest? <laughs> so the House of Hufflepuff in Harry Potter has what animal on their crest? I wish it was a bunny. I don't know actually, maybe I wouldn't want to be Hufflepuff, but I wish one of them had a bunny on it. So let's see, I see one, I see two, I see three, all right, so I see a few. So the correct answer is Badger, and the question again was in Harry Potter, the house of Hufflepuff has what animal on their crest? It is a badger. So let me, oh, my pen is in my pocket, or not my pocket, my, my lap here, and I have tons of, I'm getting more of these, I found them all over my legs. So um, let me go back up, um, the first I see bunny, hedgehog, dragon, badger by Bermuda Triangle. There you go, Bermuda Triangle. There you go, that is number three for you, great job. And bunny, 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 cat, hedgehog, dragon, badger by Kawaii Panda. So, Kawaii Panda. And there you go. Be very proud. Kawaii Panda. You just came in and you got one. So, after that was Kitty Sam's World, then Bunny, a uh, bunny guess, a dragon guess, a hedgehog guess, um, Madeline Darling said Badge. We almost got Badger, but we already had the two. Then Toy Box Fun said Badger, so we had a couple more in there. So, um, let's see, all right, next question, let me just move this real quick, all right, so here we go. What is Disney's Dumbo's real name? So in the Disney movie Dumbo, Dumbo the elephant, he has a name, it's not Dumbo, that was like another name given to him, 
by the humans, I believe, by the people. But what was his real name that his mother gave to him? <laughs> you guys are so sweet. See, Amelia said, Sugar Bunny deserves so many more subs. I really appreciate that. I'm almost at 50,000 subs. Can you guys believe that? That is amazing, so fantastic, wonderful. You guys all have helped, believe me. It is so cool that it has come this far and I cannot wait until we just get more and more and being more and more people means more and more friends. And then you find friends too, like you guys find more people with interests. Like I see you guys sharing game that you guys like. So. You guys find people with similar interests, that's so cool. So, um, let's see, and then the question once again was, in Disney's movie Dumbo, what is Dumbo's real name? So, all right, I see one, two, all right, so we got them. So, Kawaii Panda was the first one to come in with Jumbo Jr. Kawaii, oh, I just, look what I wrote. I wrote Jumbo Jr. Okay, so Jumbo Jr. is not here, but Kawaii Panda is here. Kawaii Panda is here. So there you go, Kawaii Panda. You got in there, that's two for you. And then right after Kawaii Panda, I see Bermuda Triangle. So it's Jumbo, Jumbo Jr. for Dumbo. So Bermuda Triangle, doing really good. And right after Bermuda Triangle, I see JoJo Super Fans for Life said Jumbo. Then Alant, who is new, welcome, says Jumbo Jr. So yeah, welcome. That's the first time I think I've seen you, and I don't recognize that picture either. Uh, totally Descendants said Jumbo. JoJo Siwa Fan for Life said Jumbo. Toy Box Fun said it. Kitty Sam's World said it. JoJo Siwa Fan for Life said it again. And Jolly Nada did. Um, 50k is so much! I know, I'm so close! Bermuda Triangle said 50k is so much. Toy Box Fun was here since I had 20k. I know I've grown so much and you guys all helped so much. So Amelia says I need 76 more till 50k. So when did I start my YouTube channel? I started it in November of 2017. So it's going to be two years this um, this coming November. So. Um, <laughs> if she had a million subs, then we wouldn't even have a chance for the giveaways. Well, you know, I don't know if that's true because you can have a lot of subs, but not everybody enters. So a lot of people don't know how or the giveaways are localized to like, um, you know, maybe United States only if they're international. Sometimes um, people, it's there's a language barrier. So there's a lot of different things. If you have a million subs, it's not necessarily a million people going to enter. So still have a chance. So. Um, all right. So I see some people say it's frozen. No, is it? Is it frozen? Is it still frozen? Offline. Hmm. Still shows that I'm online. Oh, no. Showing that it's offline. I don't know. Is it working? Is it not working? Let's see. I don't know. I'm gonna see. It says refresh, guys. Refresh. Okay, I'm gonna refresh too and see. See if that helps. So I'm still here, if you guys are all still here. I just refreshed it, so um, for mine, now it looks a little bit better for me. Let me see if I can see myself. I don't see it yet, I know there's a little delay though, but here we go. It does say, okay, there I am, there I am. So, okay, I don't know why it does that. It might be just because it's really busy or something, but um, all right, it says it's going again. All right, but yes, Toy Box Fun, I did see you were here since I had 20K. So yeah, it's been a big growth since then. But all right, we've got one more question and then we'll do our next um, blind bag and I'll show you the prize and we'll do through our, and then we'll go ahead and draw a winner. So, all right, here's your question. In my last live stream, what was the color of the gumball machine of my Smooshy Mushy? So in my last live stream, I opened up a Smooshy Mushy. What was the color of that uh, gumball machine? It was the Sugar Rush series, so they were in gumball machines. So what was the color of that gumball machine, you guys? 
All right, I see one, two. All right, so I see the colors. So I saw the first one in there was Jodeci with Fan for Life said red. Kawaii Panda said pink. And that's correct. Kawaii Panda, you got it. I think that's three for you. Yeah. And so Kawaii Panda. There you go. I need to fall in. So um, right after that is Totally Descendants with Pink. So there you go, totally descendants. And you got two now. Des All right. So I'll read some more so you guys know what order. Um, after totally descendants, oh, it just skipped down for me. All right, let me scroll back up. It does that sometimes, so. So pink, pink, okay. Then Jojo Siwa for Life, for Life said blue. Kawaii Panda said purple. Just your everyday word said pink. Jojo Siwa Fan for Life said yellow. Kika's World said pink. Kawaii Panda said red. Jojo Siwa Fan for Life said pink. Casey Rogers said pink. Hey there, Casey Rogers. Kawaii Panda said blue. Jojo Siwa Fan for Life said pink. Metal and Darling said pink or red. Yeah, it was hot pink. Um, Kawaii Panda said yellow. Amelia Barrett said pink. Toy Box Fun said blue. Kawaii Panda said orange. Kitty Sam's World said purple. Kylie Sparkle said, what are the colors for? It's because I asked a question. Uh, I asked what question the um, gumball machine for my Smooshy Wishy was in my last live stream that I opened. So there you go. Um, oh, Toy Box Fun said they just looked at the thumbnail. Oh, that was really smart. That was really smart because you can see that. You can see that part of it. So that was our third question from there. And we're going to go ahead and open up our last blind bag and then we have three more questions to ask so you still have some chances in there six more chances because I do two from each so num nums snackables so many surprises inside now I saw uh, my friends BBL blind bags open these and I know that they have an egg that has like a bunny it's like a bunny egg it's like a halo it's like an angel bunny give me just one sec all right so um this will be my first time opening up one of these, and it's not like the um, the snow cone ones where I need water or anything. So um, I can just open it and um, not have to worry about getting water. So the color change things. Sometimes it's like hard because the water will get warm or it will get cold depending on what you need. And so it's a little bit difficult to do it during the stream unless I open that first. So all right. So the inside, it's got a little fork. I wonder if it's gonna have a spoon on the other one. Try my best not to tear the box. All right, so the top or the bottom says get cooking. Little gummy bear. And then what do you call a grumpy birthday ice cream? What do you call a grumpy birthday ice cream? I do not know. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's getting a little dry. So there's a knife, working knife. I'm gonna take another drink, guys. Hmm. Okay, so I might have to cough to get it better, but here, I'll do that in a sec. <coughs> uh -huh. So I have a really dry throat. I've been talking for a few hours, so. All right, so the contents, it's probably for safety because of the uh, slime. <clears throat> but, okay, inside we've got one, two, three bags, as well as that checklist. Oh, here's the answer. A party scooper. So a grumpy birthday ice cream is called a party scooper. So there's our box. We're really big. You can always put everything back in there. So we'll open up this one. Kind of feel feels like it's bacon. Looks like it's bacon. Looks like it's a bear bacon. So let us open up this one first. I love this color purple. It's like a lilac purple. Alright, so there it is. It is a bear bacon. You know what it smells like? It smells like maple to me. So maybe it's like maple bacon. Now I really feel like bacon and eggs. You gotta make some bacon and eggs. It smells really, like it really, really smells a lot like maple. So, like maple syrup. Well, you know, it's like, not like maple syrup, like the genuine maple syrup, like the Walmart maple syrup, like the butter flavored maple syrup. So, yeah. That's what this smells like, but it doesn't smell rubbery, so it smells really good. I've smelt some num-nums that were like the, the cheese curls. Those are so gross. Ugh. 
I do not want to smell this. So in this one, it feels like, um, oh, you know what? Okay, okay. So this feels like um, when you do like poached eggs, like the little cup that it holds it in. So I definitely have an egg. I've got an egg, you guys. Or maybe it's ice cream. Maybe it's an ice cream thing. I don't know. So I think that I think that it's an egg though. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember the container that it came with, but it looks like an ice cream container to me. Oh. So who knows? But these don't have like faces on it. And they don't really smell either. They don't smell like anything. I think what I was smelling is the maple from my hand from the other one. So there's that. But I'm hoping I think this is an egg. It you know it feels like an egg. Oh my goodness. Okay, it feels like the bunny. Oh my gosh, okay, I think I have the bunny. I think I've got the bunny. I think I got the bunny. I think I got the bunny. Let's see. She has the bunny! Oh my gosh, look at how cute this is! Okay, so I saw they got two bunnies. I was hoping the bunny one would be easy to get, but look at I got the bunny! So it might be kind of easy to get. I got it. I just grabbed a random one because I didn't know any hacks to it. So but it's like an angel bunny. It's got a little halo on it. And it's like a pearly iridescent kind of color. It's got a little blush, it's winky, and it's got a little bow. Okay, let's see what's inside. Oh, look, wait, it's a little tail. They're so cute! So, there we go. Inside is some like slime, like egg yolk. So, oh, I've gotta open it because there's more. <laughs> there's more! I know, I'm so lucky I got the unicorn thing and I got the bunny. Oh, I'm just... the, the other egg on there is really cute too, the speckled one but I definitely wanted the bunny, and I saw they had two. I was even gonna ask them if they didn't want the duplicate. I was gonna say, can I have it please, if I didn't get one of these, but I got one. So I don't wanna cut this with slime. I don't wanna cut the slime, but it might result in that, so we'll see. I'm trying to salvage as much as I can. So it looks like a yellow slime with little beads of um, foam in them, but then we've got two little um, num nums in there as well and they look like the egg yolk ones which I do remember them having like egg yolk num nums in there let's get it out come on turn it maybe turning it inside out would be better instead of trying to pull it all out we'll just turn it inside out and it will be out there we go so got most of it so I did see like that the other one, they had like a frying pan for one. I would have really liked the frying pan. Okay, so here is one of them. I think they're like little cats. If I'm not mistaken, but it's a little cat yolk. It's so cute. It's even got a little tail. It doesn't look like a cat tail, but it's a tail of some kind. So there's, you know, let's keep it out because the checklist I'm sure will tell us. Okay, and then this other one. I believe if I remember, it was a like family of yolks. So there was like a mommy yolk, a daddy yolk, and baby yolk, and I don't know, another kind. So, and this one's got a little bow, so it's kind of like a Hello Kitty one, but Hello Kitty's trademarked Sunrio, and it's not Num Num, so there you go. It's not Hello Kitty, but it reminds me because it's got the bow. So, and then you got this slime, which is actually pretty decent. Oh, there it goes, but yeah. So, I mean, these I think were like 48 or something. Maybe maybe there were more, I don't remember. But yeah, they had a bunny one and it's really cute. So if you love bunnies, like I love bunnies, then definitely should try to get one. So, I hope they tore. Oh, it's gonna tear. There you go. Ooh. So, all right, we'll put it in the bunny. Keep it stored in there. It goes back in. Let's see. Oh, am I doing it? Am I getting it? Yes. Nothing squished out, so we're really good. There we go. So let's have a look at that checklist. Love the kitty ones. Kitty Samsung loves the kitty one. It is so cute. I love it, you guys. I'm so happy. That's a good way to finish. That's a good. That's a good finish there. So big checklist, but I don't think it all comes in here because I've seen the pizza package. The pizza package does not come in there. It comes as its own one. So eggs. So they have an Eddie egg. This is Sweetie Scramble. Oh, that's so cute. So Sweetie Scramble, and it is. And Spring Scramble, that one's also really cute. And I remember they wanted to double egg, and they got they got two of those and one of those, and I think one of those too. They opened up a bunch of them. And then the Graham Gals, and Salty Serena, Sassy Sesame, Rainbow Unibagel. Ooh, 
Um, not super fun. Ice cream sandwiches. I believe the ice cream sandwiches came with like Play-Doh. Like some something like that. Play-Doh or like the kinetic sand kind of thing. And you, it came with a spreader and you spread the ice cream. It was supposed to be like ice cream. Maybe it came with a scoop. And you made the ice cream in between the things. So breads. I believe those came with like a spread. That might have been like one or each or both had like that. But I got salty sizzle. And it does smell like, like maple. So I wasn't crazy, so the bacon smells like maple. Maple syrup or maple whatever. Um, fruity strip, berry swirls, where's the, okay, ultra rare is the pink heart, so that's what I should have been looking for. So I didn't get the bunny and that was not. Um, but here on the back are the yolks. So, right above it's fruits, and then right there is yolks. So I got Yara yolk, Yolanda yolk, and Yuri yolk, so I got Yolanda yolk and Yuri yolk. So it wasn't mommy, ba daddy, baby. I think that was what I was remembering from what they said then. So gummies. Why don't they have like a gummy bunny? That rhymes too. Like they have gummy bears. Why don't they have a gummy bunny? I've seen like gummy bunnies at Easter, but they should have gummy bunnies all year long. Num noms. That reminds me of the lifesavers, the gummy lifesavers. So nutty bears. I'm not sure what that is, but there you go. Scented secret slimes. So I know that these aren't all slimes. They say they're slimes, but I remember they reminded me more of Play-Doh. So um, they've got all different flavors and it comes with a scooper or whatever. There's the egg slimes. I got the Silly Scramble, which is a really cool one. The egg whites is also really cool. It's got sparkles, glitters, birthday yolk. That would have been really cool. I would have liked any of those. That one would be number four pick. That's really cute too though. And then they have spreadable slimes, like I said, with the little spreader. And then they have pizza slimes. So yeah, that came in the package with that. So scoop and spread, if you get that. The eggs you crack. With that one you smear and then the pizzas you slice. So these are really cool. I really like these num nums. The num nums are always great, but I think these ones are like, they have a lot more character. So they're really cute, but they are always like really good. I have some slime on my fingers I just got off. But there you go. So we've got three more questions, guys. And then we will draw our winner. So here are our three questions. Oh, Bermuda Triangle says good night to oh, Amelia Barrett is going to sleep. Oh, might be late. So, and then Madeline Darling's going to watch Legacies. I'm not sure what that is. So that sounds sounds good though. Maybe it's like a medieval time legacies, or maybe I'm totally off on that. But here are our three questions. You guys ready? <laughs> Alright, so what breed of dog is Jojo Siwa's dog Bobo? So what breed of dog is Jojo Siwa's dog Bobo? What breed? Oh, it's the sequel to Vampire Diaries. Oh, okay, okay. I actually had watched the, uh, the sequel. Maybe I was watching the prequel to it. It was the one with, um, now I can't even think of the name. See, it happens to me too, guys, but um, the main or the older family, whatever, whoever created them, like the brothers, the two brothers and the sister, I was watching that one. Or the, maybe it was three brothers originally, but can't think of the names now. I'm just drawing a blank. So uh, what breed of dog is Jojo Siwa's dog, Bobo? All right, I see one, two, and I'll take I'll take um I'll take abbreviations or whatever for this. It's the same thing. So, all right, the first one in there was E Green with Teacup Yorkie. So, yep, she is a little Teacup Yorkie. So, E Green, and you've got let's see five now. Great job, E Green. And then. What after that is just Trevor D. Weird, but did you get five? Yep, you got five. Just Trevor D. Weird did have it though. And then Casey Rogers says Teacup Yorkie. So Casey Rogers, you did get that. Good job. Casey Rogers. After Casey Rogers, uh, E. Green again. Or actually, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Anjali Nanda said Yorkie, then Toy Box Fun, then Madeline Darling, then Bermuda Triangle, then Kitty Sam's World, then Totally Descendants, then Alan, Al, Alanat, 
Um, and then Kylie Sparkles, then Kiki's World said Yorker, and then Kitty Sam's World said Teacup Yorkie, then Kiki's World said Yorkie Terrier. So, um, E Green said, This is the one I was saving my response for. So it worked out, and you ended up getting it. Great job. All right, so Pink Cool Cupcakes. Pink, uh, <laughs> Pink Cool Cupcakes. Nine. Cool. A. Hello, A. So, um, oh, and Jelly Nada, do not worry, keep trying, because somebody had that same, you know, they were feeling bumming out because they were always late to it, but then they ended up getting five, and then they won. And then that was their first stream, too. So, um, just keep trying, that's all I can tell you. So, um, here we go. Next question. In Nickelodeon's cartoon show Rugrats, what is the picture on Chucky's shirt of? So there's two different kind of answers I'll accept. So, um, in Nickelodeon's cartoon show Rugrats, what is the picture on Chucky's shirt? What is that a picture of? Let's see if you said it froze. I'm not sure. We are at the three hour mark. Oh my goodness, wow. So, all right, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I see. I see a couple of correct answers, so let's do this. The first person to reply was Kylie Sparkle said cheese. Um, Kika's World said bearer. Um, Bermuda Triangle said Saturn. It is a picture of Saturn, so it would have taken Saturn or planet. So Bermuda Triangle, and I believe that's number four for you. All right, so um, Joe Siwa said cheese. Alant said Saturn. Alant. I'm sorry, I keep on saying Alant, but A L A N A A T. Alant. It's like all or not. So, but it's not. <laughs> Alant Saturn. Then Casey Rogers said cheese. Toy Box Fun said dinosaur. Joe Siwa said Saturn. Then she said cheese. Then uh, Anjali said cheese Saturn. Um, and then a little heart said Unicorn Toy, Malin Darling said Saturn, I see Dinosaur Dino, Saturn, so, um, yep, I have one more question, so you guys ready? Here is the last question, don't forget, um, I do this every Saturday, and I will be asking you guys if I should be doing one in the middle of the week too, so don't forget, keep watching for that and let me know. So community tab of my YouTube channel as well as on my social media accounts, I'll ask you guys and find out if I should and what time and day would be good for you guys. So here is the last question. It's a little tricky, so so just really listen carefully, because as soon as you know it, and you're gonna be like, oh my goodness. All right, what is the other name of Experiment 626? So here's a little hint, it's a Disney movie, but what is the name, what is the other name of Experiment 626? So they call him Experiment 626, but they actually have a name. The originals, that is what I'm thinking of just your everyday weird. Yep, the original. Yep, the originals. So, all right. So, what is the other name of experiment 626? All right, I see a few in there. Let's see. I have one, two, three. All right, so I've got some. So, the first person in there uh, actually was E Green, but you've got five in there. So, um, next one is, let's see, Joe see oh, misspelled, so we're gonna go down to Totally Descendants, says Stitch, and so there you go, Totally, Totally Descendants. There you go. And then right after Totally Descendants is Anjali Nanda. So yes, Stitch, S-T-I-T-C-H, so Stitch. Anjali Nanda. So I'll keep reading a few more so you guys know which order I'm saying. And right after that was Madeline Darling, then Just Your Everyday Weird. Kylie Sparkle said Wally. No, it's um, Experiment 626 is Stitch. 
Um, right after that, Bermuda Triangle said Stitch, but we did the spelling on that one too. Um, Kika's World says The Door. Jojo C went for a light band for, um, uh, said Stitch. It just skipped on me, so I missed it. Okay, and then she corrected. Yeah, she fixed it. So, um, yep, yeah, but it is Stitch. So that was our last question. Um, if you got your name in there today, then good luck. If you didn't, don't worry. I'm going to be having one this next Saturday as well, just like I do every Saturday. Plus, um, I've got, like I said, that sticker giveaway. So just keep watching for my posts and stuff. I do a lot of giveaways, and um, I usually always have one going. So, um, and then I'll be asking the guys, like I said, if I should do one in the middle of the week as well as on the weekend. But here we go. Good luck to everybody. And please don't be too, too sad if you didn't get um, one in. And if you did get one in but don't win, you know, don't worry. Do that second prize drawing. So um, just wish everyone good luck and congratulations to whoever the winner is. So here we go. Good luck, good luck, good luck. All right, I'm scrolling down. Okay, down in the middle. Here we go. Bermuda Triangle, you are the winner for today. Congratulations. So please do not put any of your personal information into the chat right here. Um, you can contact me via email at sugarbunnyhops at gmail.com or on Instagram. I don't check Twitter or Facebook, so I just post there. But um, Instagram, it's the same as my YouTube name, at sugarbunnyhops. So um, when you contact me though, please, if you're under 18, make sure you've got a parent's permission to send me your information. So it's always very important. Um, but if you have any questions, you can always let me know as well. So today you are today's winner and every single name in here will be kept and entered into the monthly drawing. So um, that will actually be happening next weekend. So I'll be drawing three winners from anybody who got any entries in through the month of April. So um, yeah, that is your next chance. So I will be, um, let's see, posting the, posting about the stickers, what you need to comment on this video once it posts. So for these ones, I did show earlier, but I'll show you again. So um, you guys will get to pick from one of these three sets. And then I do still have this giveaway going on for the JoJo bows. So. Here's the first place one, and then the second place one is the medium size bow. So this is like the regular large, and this is like the medium size. So um, I will be posting which video you have to go comment on. So I've already given you one, two, three, four. So I believe this, I believe four. One, two, three, today will be four. Today I'll give you the fourth one. So. Um, if you want to go and enter that, you can check my other posts, but I will let you guys know the other videos too in that one. But the other ones have the thumbnail for it. So um, yeah, other than that, I think I might be caught up with stuff, but um, if I'm not, then I will post about it. So keep looking there and that's like the best place to find everything. So I use that so often, but um, yeah. So thank you guys so, so, so much for coming. Congratulations to Bermuda Triangle. I appreciate everybody for coming here. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Spend it with friends, spend it with family. Um, enjoy your goodies and just um, have, I hope it's sunny. I saw it was raining somewhere, but hopefully it's sunny and just perfect for egg hunting or whatever you guys do um, tomorrow. So I will see you soon, see you another time and we will convey next Saturday, if not before then. So see you guys. Bye.